Last time, uh, you had taken a job from Mr. Cernov to clear out his sunken lighthouse, or his brother's sunken lighthouse. Um, you found little of note, and then a lot of note, when you realised that the space within the lighthouse was being concertinaed down. Uh, and then you were attacked by some people who you chopped in half, quite literally, uh, before having a little investigation and blocking their entry route here. Uh, there we go. With a large crate. And you were to decide what to do about that. Uh, Tulip has taken a small amount of damage from being stabbed. But aside from that, you're pretty good to go. Just a little snubbed. Just we met two people and Tulip cut one in half, essentially. They're, yes. They're not straight up people. bisected them. Yes, with a huge amount of damage. <laughs> they are no longer people. Not quite I mean, dead yet. Our percentage of people. Yeah, <laughs> 50. Yeah. <laughs> two I pieces guess. of 50%. Should we uh, lift the, the other one oh. down? Uh, so, just to remind myself, uh, we had explored up uh, the tower and didn't find anything, right? Like, we found one of the floors that was compressed and the other one still didn't open up, or we Correct. didn't have a way to open it up. Um, but we found no one else up there as far as the rooms we could go to. Correct. Okay. So, yeah. I um, guess the only way is down, which we probably would have discussed with the others uh, in character somewhere. But, uh, I guess... Do we have any do we have any light sources other than torches? No, I don't know. I don't think we do. Uh, I, I didn't think so. Think I have uh what's it called? I don't think I have a uh, cantrip at the moment that can produce light somehow. Okay. That well I, I, I know them, but I, I haven't got them prepared words. Sure, sure. Uh, so, uh, B is going to suggest, uh, that we, well, I think this, is, this, given the situation, it's probably worth lighting a torch and throwing it under there just to see how far it goes. Um, she, I'm sure she has a couple and I'm sure everyone else also has like a little, a few, so we could probably spare one. And, uh, Wait, torches in the water to see well we don't do. like we can't see how far down it goes right right if it hits the water we can at least count how long it takes to get down there well isn't the water like right up against the uh it the... went water level went down i think is that correct i thought the... it went down down to where it was before which was like right up against the uh yes the water level what during the f or just before the fight uh when they tried to drown you rose up to around your hips and then after the fight, fell back down to the level it was at before, probably m a less than an inch above the top of the hatch. Oh, okay, got it. So it's actually just it's just water. <laughs> yeah, I was like, throw okay, it down. It. I was like, what? <laughs> no, because I, I remember um I remember a comment at some point saying that like you couldn't see the bottom, but I guess that was through the water. Couldn't see the bottom, or maybe I'm just misremembering things. Oh, we, we don't know how deep the water is. That's truthful. Like, we can't... Like, we, we can hold a light source up, but we, got, we can't see, you know, the bottom. It's pitch black, basically, right, Don't let Um, As far as you could see, yeah. There was, there's no light source down there, so... The light from the, um, the floor you're on doesn't extend very far. Hmm. Let's see, backpack. I mean, couldn't we pick up something and yeet it over the side and see how long it takes to sink? Well, the problem is that we, we lose vision of it. The water's dark. Mm -hmm. So we, we drop we drop the rock or whatever in there, and then we have no idea where it is, like, a second later. Unironically. Like, we, we cannot see the bottom. Unironically, though, if we weren't like PCs, and we weren't doing an adventure that we know that we're supposed to be able to complete. I don't know, if, like I as a character would want to go down here. <laughs> like, probably not. 
<laughs> I mean, like, holy shit. We got, we're fighting an aquatic enemy, and we're jumping down into the water where we won't be able to see what's down there until we already are already down there. <laughs> like, like um, I don't know. Yeah. Like, we might here's, just want to like go back up to the top and like tell him it's not worth it. <laughs> here's, a, here's another question. Um, down where so the are there any windows on this floor? Um, not substantial ones. There's the little not kind substantial. of sl like arrow slit style ones to let a bit of breeze through, but they're not designed for looking out. Further Got you're it. below the edge of the um the hole now. Okay, got it. Um, are there any are there any windows on any of the other floors that are substantial? Oh are yeah, all like that? yeah, yeah. You saw out before. That's how you figured out how it was Constantino. Okay, got it. <clears throat> uh, so B is actually going to suggest that uh, before they dive into the water, um, how about we go up uh, up a floor or two and uh, try climbing out a window instead? Um, I'm sure he won't mind if we if we break one. Why? Do why? Why? Well, I mean, she points at uh at the surroundings. There's water all around, and maybe it'll be a little less dangerous if we don't funnel in through this little hole that they came came out of. We can still get into. But the then, water. how are you gonna get to the? Like, isn't there a wall between? Like, if you go out the window and go all the way down, and then you go to the water, isn't isn't Aren't you going to run into just the foundations of the lighthouse? How are you we getting might. under the lighthouse? We might, but considering the entire ground collapsed, um, there might be holes somewhere. Maybe. Um, did we ever figure out if we could just like unveil the last couple of floors, like the no, ones we've we tried? Dipped? We we tried to do that. We couldn't figure out how to like. We we came to consensus that it's probably some sort of password, like mm -hmm. you have to speak a, a code phrase or something like that for the tower to open up from where they. And we don't know what it is. So, mm -hmm. can I? Your breath or the... Can I can I check the uh, the 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 blokes we bodied basically? Mm -hmm. Um, are they carrying anything? They weren't no. Are they carrying anything at all, like scri scri scrap of paper, anything? No. That I don't know. Some people write down their passwords, so <laughs> nothing, nothing that you would immediately recognize as that kind of object. Um, they have some, um, like some some uh, almost jewelry, uh, mostly stone based, that has what could arguably be some kind of script on it. But that could well just be a bit of jewelry with. So the, these guys are. Uh, on it. <laughs> sure. Are these guys like. Um, are they the equivalent of merfolk or are they the equivalent of some sort of <laughs> elemental species? They, they definitely look like what the fairy tales would call merfolk. They are corporeal humanoid beings with some fishy characteristics. So to try and. To, like, could I could I roll some sort of check to see if I know anything about their like society? Is that is a society role appropriate, or is it something else? Society would work for me, yeah. Sure. Just so, because like, are they hierarchical? Are they actually like organized? Mm -hmm. Like, is it, can I think of anything that might be an obvious like they might use this as a password if they're stupid? Sure. Well, no, <laughs> if, you know, the, we're, we're, what we're the, what's making it get even more complicated is the fact that this is not their tower, you know. This is the wizard's tower, and they just broke in, and somehow they have the password. Uh, I think. I think. I think they made it. it. I think they made that, not him. Um, no. there is no such thing as Merfolk society, and in fact, there is no such thing as Merfolk, as far as you're aware. Okay. Right. So, so these guy... are. Sorry. This... This guy was an engineer of some sort, clearly into weird shit, right? Is there a possibility that he, I don't know, dug a little too deep or was doing experiments and shit that nobody really needed to know about? Well, we we have the ex we have the experiment that was performed here that we haven't really uh, studied all that closely yet. So, um, 
<laughs> Sorry, I, I was I was a little absent during last session, uh, but it, am I remembering correctly that um, Ziga picked up like a like a manuscript about our hometown? Yeah, but we haven't had a chance to look into it yet. And what Fish was saying, well, I don't think it's relevant to what we're doing this session. I I, I, I didn't want to give it to you after last session so that you could remain focused on the immediate problem at hand. I didn't want people to okay, go racing off with that's fine. future plans. Hmm. Yeah, I think he opened up a portal or some nonsense in here. Like, yeah. he's not the brightest... Like, oh, I did. Here. I did get some idea of what the magic was there, didn't I, Tom? What was it? Was it a uh, was it movement based? I can't remember. I got like some vague idea. I see. Yes. Cool. So the um the broken circle in the center, the patterns on it are very similar to the patterns that Sternov used to get you in here. And yeah, that was it. that was purely transportational. Um, yeah. It's more complicated than that, but that pattern looks like it could be a subset of the circle's pattern. Um, sure. These kind of permanent magical fixtures often perform multiple duties and you just use whichever bit of it you actually need. So he'd chalk in the bit that is transportation and that would be a transportation circle. I don't think we should talk to the living guy. He probably knows, or at least has some inkling of what his brother would have been doing down here before things went to hell. That would require leaving, and I don't think he, out of character, I th or I guess in character too, um, I don't think he was prepped for us to go out and then back in again, because he had to prep the whole teleportation thing to get in here in the first place. Yeah. The, the impression we were given is, once we go in, we should finish things before we leave again. Or he would be not best pleased. I mean, basically. Him, though? Like, these are creatures that have never been documented? Yeah, but on the other hand, we had two of them walk up and square up, and you cut them in half. I cut one. So in who cares? Half. Yeah, yeah, but at the same time, you cut one in half. Who <laughs> gives a damn? They're they're rubbish little, they're little wispy handed, useless Water people. From, from yeah, the fight, the... from the fight that you had, it was like having two untrained militiamen run at you. They, yeah, they, but they like, were still alive. They had dreams, probably. Plus yeah, but that's they not were, the point. They Who were cares if they're, if they're, you know, combative or whatever? Just, I mean, realistically speaking, the only reason why... I, I don't know. Why don't we just go down there? Like, <clears throat> whatever. I, I mean, I think water? we can all swim. I don't really know what else we can do. Like we ha we have three options: go up, climb out a window, climb down there. I that I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really fit enough to be doing that. Uh, go go upstairs, try and find a password, mess about with the magic. But to be honest with you, that we don't know how long that's been there, so we could be at that for God knows how long. Three, just go down there and see what happens. Like. Uh, I don't really know. I don't know. A zigger? Uh, yeah, I was gonna ask. Can in, can um, tulip uh, see underwater? Does does tulip have dark vision? Um, I mean, she's high health, so I don't know. Low light, I believe. Okay, so Ziga is the only person in the party with dark vision. Uh, uh, we have to get the cat to stick his head into the water. Yeah. <laughs> Where is? Oh, that's dark vision. Um, Chris doesn't have anything. Tulip nope. has low light, and B has nothing. Cool. But yeah, so uh, Ziga is not happy about it, but realizes that he's probably the only one that can help in this immediate situation. So he will ask Tulip to make sure he's got a firm grasp, or make sure she's got a firm grasp on his feet, and uh, so he can pull him back up if you know he flails. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then he'll stick his head under water. Tulip has him. So you're gonna move the box out of the way to begin yeah, with, yeah. because that's that's heavily there. So I will just delete that. And um, so you stick your head underwater, and as far as you can see, it just fucking keeps going. 
But the weird thing is that there really is nothing down there other than water. Like, it, it, it keeps going in every direction? Apart from up, which is the bottom of the floor right. that you're standing on, yeah. In every direction, oh. including here where it should go past the wall, it just keeps fucking going. Wait, hold up. This is some bullshit. Can we throw, like, some perception at this? Because I feel like we're, we're supposed to be getting something. Do oh, I feel like it's not? Like, does, it, does it give me any indication that it's a magical effect? I presume it's a magical effect. Like, uh, there's not actually any conceivable way that it could keep going in, like, this direction and not hit land. Yeah, um, I mean, given that you're a sorcerer, yeah, this probably does seem like a magical effect. This is it is... salt water? Ooh. Good question. Is it? <laughs> um, no, it isn't salt water. Okay, no. so I didn't, I didn't know whether it was like some sort of weird. It's actually like it's actually the sea, and it's you know like with the 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 drop, the the door goes to the sea, even yeah, though it should go to no. under the. It, it's it's not fresh spring water. You wouldn't want to survive on it if you had to. Yeah, but it's but it's it, not salt. But it's That's not fine. salt water. No, it's not sea water. So um, is it? Is it possible that he has this use this uh, transportation thing has opened up a portal to uh, I don't remember the name for it but the plane of water and that this 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 hatch right here is a conduit to that portal? Um, like, roll me an arcana. It's active. That, that's not something that Ziga can do. <laughs> oh. Um, I mean, if he said like if he suggests it, I could, I Chris would. I mean, I, you know, I could technically roll for it. Does but... does primal magic get teleportation spells? Do they get like dimension door and shit like that? Uh, that's a good question. I am not sure. Oh damn! Oh, I mean, never mind. He got a twenty anyway, so who cares? <laughs> um, let me just look this up. Seems good. So well done rolling that die, Mag. Well done. is a spell that belongs to Arcane and Occult, so I'm going I, to see I doubt Primal gets anything but, like, Pre-Stride or something. Yeah, okay. Well, you rolled really well fucking anyway. Um, so, yes, that is something that Arcane Magic could do. Um, but you would expect Chris to be blind from Detect Magic if that were the case. Yeah, and I have detected magic down here. That so... would that would be huge and bright and impossible. Yeah, it would to miss. like like it, it would it, you know normally you you do detect magic. It's like echo location. You get like a ping. This would be like <laughs> you're like what? <laughs> I'm like that was perfect. Can we try something simpler and just uh, break off a chair leg off this broken chair? Yep. And uh, drop it into the. Uh, into the hole uh, where Zika is looking down and see if it just vanishes at some point instead of fading out because of the darkness. Or sure, you can, you can try that. Um, sure. Given it's already broken, I won't ask you to strength to break one off, even. Uh, so you know how water and wood interact, right? <laughs> well, uh, B didn't consider that. Um, get a, just get a rock. Like, pick up a piece of the broken floor. Yeah, there's there's enough rocks yeah, yeah. around that you can yeah, drop yeah. one of them. Over here, over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. a better idea. I like that to be canon, because that's yeah, amazing. That's fine, that's, that's fine. Great. Uh, yeah, that's so fine. You, you drop a rock down, um, and it does in, in fact sink, and at some point, it vanishes. And okay. it vanishes long before it loses your sight. It's a bit hard to see, because it is murky down there, and the rock's quite dark, and the water's quite dark, but it okay. doesn't it doesn't keep going, it just blinks out of existence, probably about 20 feet down. Okay. Can you just, like, jump in there? Yeah, just, like, walks could. over, but looks at the it... floating chair leg, and looks back at B, and is like, why did you... <laughs> why? And she, uh, she fishes it out and says, I want to see what it would be like if it was wet, okay? You wanted you wanted a wet chair leg, and he's okay. trying really hard not to laugh at you, right? <laughs> Sensing the sass, she's going to bonk Chris over the head with the wet chair leg. Yeah. Roll attack. <laughs> gently. Are you actually? Are no. you intending to deal damage? No, gently. But uh, I can I can roll an attack roll. Like Let's see how it goes. Yeah, go on, do it. No. What you, oh, you do? 
Oh my, oh my god. Yeah, you, god. You definitely hit for no damage because it's a playful bonk. But yeah, that connects solidly with Chris's forehead. It's just like just like without Chris even realizing what's happened. Bonk. And he's like <laughs> That's what? that's a monk reflex you... is going on right there. <laughs> oh my god. Chris is like, I guess I know what it is like when you have a wet chair leg now. <laughs> That's right. To be honest, did you just want to vandalize something? Like... Maybe. Tulip wants to jump in this fucking water. This Tulip off. Oh. I love the idea that we're having this stupid conversation and Tulip's like, can't be bothered in the water now. Tulip's <laughs> taking so... off anything that is going to make her sink and preparing to lower herself into the water, yes? Have you considered that you can just sink by yourself? <laughs> Well, you have to let out your breath, and that may or may not be a good idea. No, you just swim downward, don't you? Like what? It is possible oh, yeah. to swim yeah. down. Yes. If, can, yeah. if I'm wearing armor, though, I'm gonna fucking drown. Why are you uh, this? So... Oh, oh! I thought you said you were picking up anything that's gonna make you sink, not no! picking off. No. Oh. So confused. <laughs> B is going to be taking off her pack because she doesn't want to take that into the water, but she does pull out a grappling hook. Uh, from inside her pack. Oh shit, son. You got a grappling hook? I did, yeah. I was prepared to climb walls and shit, not oh, okay. go underwater. But it works here. So she's gonna like uh is does part of this look like pretty heavy and solid? Or no. is it all like okay. Yeah, uh, how uh, much rope how much how much rope do you have? Uh fifty feet. I think I've got... Can't you just can't no, can't you just stick it to like this? Surely this is large yeah. and heavy. The, yeah, the book the bookshelf is probably heavy enough to make do. Don't have all four of you on it at once, but it'll, or, it'll or be... couldn't we just like drag a big fucking box over and attach yeah, it to that? Like, that yeah, it, it, it's not like we're time constrained, so there's no we don't even need to roll or anything. We just shove it at whatever yeah. awful pace we can yeah. manage. I also have a good deal of rope in my pack, so we should be able to make that work. But yes, tulips going. <laughs> okay. Just as a like a side thing. We have we a new. Oh, f- fuck me! It wasn't filled. I did it again. So there's Chris new... is kind of like still talking with B and making fun, and then just hears splash and turns around. And is like, what? Where's Tulip? <laughs> <laughs> right. So Tulip's gone in. Yes. Okay. Is anyone else watching Tulip go? <laughs> no. Uh, Chris but... hears the splash and turns around. And is like what? <laughs> yeah, probably. And B is gonna say they got tulip. And run, run. Chris wanders <laughs> along behind, and sort of goes. They they didn't get tulip. Tulip jumped in. Yeah, uh, like, too, too late. late. He's in there. Too late. I look down and just see an incredibly pair of grumpy eyes looking up at you. Yeah, no, top. you you see a subnautical <laughs> leviathan. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um. Right. So has B jumped in as well? Uh, yeah, she left her pack behind because no point in taking that. But sure. Otherwise, uh, yes. Ziggo and Chris. Yep. <laughs> they just sort of look at each other, sigh, <laughs> drop their packs on the floor, and follow them. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, Tulip is the first down, and in front of your eyes, just fucking vanishes at some point. Um, and the rest of you swiftly follow, uh, and there's a brief moment of disorientation uh, with the cold water washing over you before you unceremoniously fall through air. Well, and hopefully, that's the... part of it. Uh, yeah, no. And you land on some some hard wet dirt. It takes you a few moments to collect yourself, but when you do, it's obvious that something fucky has happened again. Uh, you see no sign of a lighthouse ruins above you or sinkhole walls to your sides. Uh, indeed, it seems that outside of your relative relatively dry bubble, water extends seemingly infinitely on all sides. North of you is a structure built of odd rough hewn grey blue bricks and in the dim blue light you can see some yellow eyes peering at you tulip's gonna help her siblings up and i'm really hoping that the fog of war has worked it has yes yes cool. uh, yeah. okay <laughs> chris is like just trying to hold still a yowling tabbit like how dare you take me in the water <laughs> <laughs> uh i have two 
questions. One is, did the other end of the rope follow us down or no? Um, there is beside you about ten foot of severed rope. Fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure thing. Here's uh, the second... other thing. None of us brought our pack. Yeah, well, it's... It... I mean, I don't know about you, but there wasn't anything super useful in the pack for this kind of situation. Food. How long just, are we going to be down here? Just eat them. She points at the eyes. Eat, you you want to eat those? Her head disappears. I mean, if we ha if we have to. Oh my god! All right. Uh, what were they feeding you guys in the institutions? Like, <laughs> we <laughs> there. Not for long. Oh my god, tulip. <laughs> Makes a disgusted noise at both of you. Like, just come on. <laughs> what do you mean, two... come on? What are you The two quote unquote adults of the group. <laughs> what? What's Ziggur's thoughts on the matter? I fuck. I honestly Beats. like I I. I... I increasingly thought it at the very beginning, and then as we got further and further knowledgeable about the situation, I thought, like, the, the, the rational thing to do is just to get the fuck out of here. Like, to take uh, not take the job. <laughs> like, it's not worth it. <laughs> but we're here now, so... That is Only not an me, adventurous yeah. mindset, I'm afraid. <laughs> like, you, you, it, your, uh, your lobby's been vetoed by the GM. Take that. If this had been an elemental plane to water like portal or something like that, and then we go through the portal and can't come back to, through the other side again, and we just in water and we drown, just, <laughs> like just grow up. Like, like other than the fact that out of character we know that we're going to be fine as a result of the fact that it's a first level adventure, uh, like there's I mean, no reason for our characters to do this. <laughs> I mean, know that you'll be fine might be a stretch. You can reasonably <laughs> expect that you won't immediately die. Okay, to be fair, Tulip did say maybe we should go back and check in with this guy first, but no, Christopher. No, because no, because he told us not to come back. It cost a crap load of money to get in here. Why do you care about that guy's money? He's so Because mean. he's going to charge us next time. Why do you think? He's not going to charge us. He's yeah, he will. He'll at least take oh, it yeah. out of any reward we I might have gotten. I will bisect him, Christopher. I will bisect <laughs> no, him. No, don't do that to the client on. either. That's how you go to jail. Yeah, they can't hold me. You can bisect the no, You can't solve every problem with bisecting it, Tulip. We've no. had this discussion before. No, you said bisect <laughs> Unfortunately, everything. I've had to have this discussion before. <laughs> you said to bisect you. everything. You said... I said what? You said bisect everything that gets in your I way. I did not. You did. <laughs> I did not. Come back here, Julie. <laughs> I'm running off. You may have said that once or twice when you were drunk. And she walked you know, As Tulip says, you know, Chris, you're looking kind of bisectable right now. Can I? Can I? <laughs> no, except she says that you're looking kind of bisexual. <laughs> trying I... to be clever and failing miserably. Can I ask yes, everyone, not. please, to make a flat whiz check? D20 plus wisdom. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. Why do you hate us? Yeah, why? That is a... <laughs> I've got a plus two modifier. Yay! Well, let's see if you can roll above a ten. <laughs> I did! Okay, so it occurs to Ziggur, who very, very uh, prudently has stayed back a little bit, that you're making a hell of a lot of noise literally in enemy territory. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> We've done worse, I'm sure. It occurs to me that I've fallen through a giant portal to unknown lands and fuck it, I'm screwed anyway. Oh my god, you are such a complainer. Well, no, he didn't say that out loud. I mean, but he's still a complainer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, you told me to bisect everything! He's just like muttering it under his breath as he walks forward at this point. <laughs> You're gonna get hugged. Christopher's gonna get hugged if he doesn't quit. Oh, what? 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 <laughs> Maybe we should wait for uh, for Tom to tell us what terrible things happens to us first before oh, we. Oh yeah. Uh... How are we gonna get <laughs> fucked in the butt, Tom? Tell us. I mean, you haven't done anything to trigger getting fucked in the butt yet, so carry on. Okay, got it. Perfect. Let's let's keep going. B. 
She B B is on Tulip's side in this. Uh, she did. She does recall hearing Chris saying "bisect everything" once or twice when he was drunk. One of those uh, times. See, you, you, you needy. <laughs> it's like muster. You can't blame me for saying ah, stupid things stop, when I'm drunk. Stop! 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 All right. And as Tulip and as Tulip approaches the uh, the head of the uh, the room there, the head of the corridor. Fuck, I need to do stuff. Um, <laughs> a similar looking fella darts forward and gives you a good poking with a yell. Surprise attack! Surprise attack! Ah, stab! Oh, Does he yell that? Oh my god, that's a crit. <laughs> that's a crit, and he gets it fucking right in Tulip's armpit. It's a bad time. And it does the exact same Ow. damage as the regular. Yeah, he rolled attack. well on one and awful on the other. That is fucking hilarious. How much damage? Nice crit, idiot. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Uh, I, no, I, think, I think the crit is supposed to be added to the damage. No, oh, no. no, it's not. It's not. Uh, if you actually look at the rolls, one of them is 1d8 oh, the and the other is 1d8 times 2. Uh, yes, no, you're correct. Okay. Um, so we need uh, one of them, to which you are still present. I should probably delete all of them because we need to roll them again. Okay. Um, I need to click my, my thing. That is silly because I didn't click the thing. Can we get... At some point in the near-ish future, can we get a initiative macro on the roll twenty? Uh, we can. It should be on. Oh, because you aren't using the sheet, are you? Are you? No. Okay. Yeah, we can. We can make that happen. Holy crap! Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's everyone. Yeah, and I've got a bonus to my initiative, although I can't remember where. It's your perception. Oh. Okay, so three. So I hear a cat meowing. Yeah, I've got my cat, and then my kid just woke up too, so I might be a little distracted. Sure. Well, these these boys got the fucking jump on you, but um, you're about to get the jump back on them, I think. <laughs> yes, I see the uh. Did not Mommy's roll. at work. Uh, B is up first. Okay. Uh, so. B is going to, I guess, the... Well, since she was swimming, uh, she probably was not holding her staff at the time, and she probably didn't think to pull it back out while they were walking forward. So, uh, going to spend an action to pull out her staff again. Mm -hmm. uh, going to take a action to uh, step, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then Flurry of Blows as the last action. Mm-hmm. Which is this and this. Uh, the first one misses. Mm -hmm. The ah, oh, fuck me. Um, let me check. Let me check. Yeah, the second one hits. Okay. So for ten. Uh, for ten. Oof! Wow, you guys. Bonking your head. You guys really do go bonking, don't you? Uh, that guy just fucking goes reeling back and falls over. It's the bonk stick. It's the bonk stick. Uh, yeah, he's gone. Good job. Wow, the, these these guys are. Um, oh yeah, these guys are shitters. These are not the tankiest <laughs> lads. No. They've never. It's like they've never been bonked before. It is, which is surprising because there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Zig is up. I'll go ahead and wait until uh, after Tulip goes. Okay, Tulip's up. Walk up and stab the guy. I get, yeah, I guess. No, 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 you gotta bisect him. I guess Tulip's going to march around the corner, vibrating with barbarian rage, which I don't think needs to be tripped at this point, but it's gonna be lingering. And Tulip's gonna. Whack the guy. That will miss. Did I get a second swing? Did you? So you moved. Did you have you to move, pull out you your can... weapon? I uh... think I was just carrying it, but maybe. I mean, I could believe that Tulip went down there with her weapon out. Yeah, so could I, to be honest. Yeah, especially take... since she was talking about cutting Chris in half. True. I mean, you can't do that without a weapon. Yep. Yeah, take another one. <laughs> and make sure you click the the 
two button Number or whatever two. it is. Uh, um, oh my god, that was with the multi attack. Oh my god. Well, yeah, I mean, he uh, actually he weathers that surprisingly well. Um, Only three quarters protected. Yeah, that fucking made a cut a chunk out of his side, but he is still standing. Well, maybe I should have gone barbarian then. Sad face. Well, I think that also takes an action, so. Right. Ziggle, move to there and attack it with a uh, acid splash. Sure. I don't remember what my modifier to hit is. is. Seven. Yeah. Fuck it, Joel. Uh, that'll hit. All right. I, do I haven't like... seen acid splash actually hit anything yet. Oh, it's only been a used D6. twice. A D6 plus my spellcasting ability modifier, which, which for is you is my charisma, charisma, right? Yeah, because you're a sorcerer. So a D6 plus four. Yes. Yeah. And one splash damage. What what is splash damage? Uh, damage to everything around it, I believe. I think it actually only adds spellcasting modifier after height being heightened to third level. I think uh, it's just the D six. Oh. Judging judging by the strength of my own spell, like for example, is this a cantrip? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right. yeah for example, one D six plus one splash on a crit. It does one persistent as well, and then it add, yeah, it adds your spell casting. Oh no, actually no. For me, yeah, does equal this, to one D six plus your spell casting ability modifier. I think acid splash is a little different, actually. Yeah, splash gets the splash damage in place of the spell casting ability modifier at level unmodified. Okay, this, so it does uh, three damage. Yeah. Uh, the splash... Is it friendly? Uh, I don't know. I thought that was going to be what your question is. No, I was going to ask if uh, the splash damage deals the damage to its original target. When you use a thrown weapon with a splash trait, which is kind of what this is, if an attack with splash fails, crit succeeds, or critically succeeds... All creatures within five foot of the target, including the target, take the listed splash damage. Oh, so yes. Oh, okay. uh, well, so, you probably want to hit, like... Oh, uh, the problem is that's going to hit... That is going to hit so. Tulip, yes. So it does one damage to Tulip, and yeah. it takes four total? And it takes four, and that acid gets fucking right in its gaping hole in its side from Tulip's sword, and it kind of melts and falls to the floor. Uh, Ew. very noisily. Ew. <laughs> what well, is this I don't have a single attack that can uh, not hit allies, which is... Well, that's good. going to present a positioning problem for you to solve <laughs> then, isn't it? Is I, there a I have a... Sorry. Uh, I was just going to ask, what's your other... Do you have any other damage cantrips? Uh, any other damage... Oh, I got Gale Blast. I think it does one point of damage. Oh, no, it does uh, bludgeoning damage equal to... Uh, how is that? Or, oh, that sounds yeah. really strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that shit. It pushes enemies away from me and uh, does four points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah. But it's also AoE and it's also not friendly. It doesn't <laughs> require an attack roll? It oh, I've got Puff of Poison. What does that do again? Yeah, that one's a I, save. I picked, I picked my spells kind of randomly because I, I didn't know how to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I, have does one, I think I have one damaging cantrip. <laughs> it does two points of damage, um, and it's it's fortitude save. Um, uh, it's damage equal to your spellcasting points. modifier plus two points of persistent poison damage at the start of their turn. Yeah, there you go. So I have uh, I have a spell that I can use to single target adjacent. Yeah. yeah. As, for reference, do we have anything to like recover health at all in the entire party right now? Because tulips actually taken like. Eight or nine damage. Administer first aid medicine action is a thing. What does that do? Uh, it does require healer's tools. Uh, but you oh, can, I didn't know that we needed those. But you can, um, yeah, you can you can recover hit points with that. I think maybe treat wounds. Um, I think maybe I put those in my inventory. Let me check my sheet. I don't know if I. Yeah, you just need to spit in the wound. That'll be fun. Uh, Tulip does not currently have healer's tools in their inventory. Oh, I meant to put some on. Eh, fuck. Next session. Guess I'll die. No. <laughs> I, I have, I have a, a basic crafter's book, which would let me craft 
a healing potion, I believe. Um, but I don't have my things with me, and also you have to do that at the start of the day, and yada 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 yada. Yes. Uh, so Tulip marching into the unknown on their own is possibly a concern. Uh, what you do know is that quickly dispatching of those two was still quite noisy, and you can hear um, kerfuffle beyond the two bulkhead doors at the sides of the room. Okay. I will well, uh... reveal them slightly more so that you can see what they actually are. And presumably there's nothing else in the room as is... No, yeah. this this room, aside from the body of the man who just got exploded by a staff and the one who melted into the floor partially, um, it is pretty empty. So, I have another question, or two questions maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, the doors that lead into this room, are they hinged or are they some other kind of door? Uh, they like... appear to be hinged, kind of bulkhead style, uh, submarine style doors. Okay. Um, can I see any hinges on our side of either door? Uh, no, you cannot. Okay. Uh, so that's actually a good thing, because I'm using my knowledge of doors <laughs> here. Uh, if there are no hinges... Doors. Yeah. Uh, if there are no... Actually, no, that is, that is a... Never mind, that's actually a bad thing. Because if there are hinges on the other side, that means they swing towards the other side. Okay. That's a shame. Yes, they, uh, would, they would swing away from you. Yes. Uh, what's the handling like? Are they like uh, the turn, whatever they call like the valve kind of, uh, uh, kind they of handle? Are, they appear to have one big bar across the middle of them, and you have to... That, it seems to be on a pivot, so you'd probably have to turn that bar and push. And are either of them making noises like they're opening right now? Not right now. Okay. Uh, and is Chris treating wounds right now? I mean, if I can treat wounds, then I'll treat some wounds. I do have uh, a decent medicine check. Um, like, I is think... treat wounds a thing you can just do rather than having to have healer's tools on you? Is there like a an un untooled version? I, I don't. I don't think believe so. so. No. Um. Uh, B offers to take point for a while. Um, since it looks like Tulik took took a little bit. No. <laughs> um, if it doesn't sound like there's anyone coming right this moment, uh, if I need to make a perception check to gauge that, I can do that. Otherwise, um, if they both look the same, then I guess we're just picking a direction. Tell you what, tell you what, I'll let you do yeah. one this time without tools, but they only heal 1d8 on a success and 2d8 on a crit success, which is half of the normal value, because you don't have what you would normally need. So I just do a medicine check? Uh, yes, a medicine check. Uh, oh god, what's even the DC on this? Okay. Has anyone got me beat on a plus 5 on a medicine check? Uh... I don't think so. I think it's a 15. It is PC. normally a 15. Mm -hmm. So you've got even odds. I, I mean, I do have a zero, so I don't know if that helps. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I suck. Nope. Well, a failure, a failure does nothing, so... Yep, sad face. Uh, and they Chris are... kind of looks at, looks at the stab wound, thinks a little bit, and is like, man, if I had some more stuff with me, maybe, but no. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just patch it up and pad the wound a bit and hope. Kiss the boo-boo. Kiss the boo-boo, <laughs> yeah. We used to do that. Uh, I didn't even mean to hit that. Oh, oh all whoops, right. I did not mean to do that. Uh, so Tulip is now temporarily immune to the treat wounds action for one hour. I mean, fine. Like... Just, just, just so we know how that kind of thing works. Yeah, that's there, fine. There is no immunity. Temporarily immune to being having yes. her boo boo kiss. That, for that, an hour. that is how the mechanics work. It's a little <laughs> weird that they phrase it like that, but it does make sense. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, B's going to offer to take point for a little bit. Um, just so that. Always go left. Let's go. Yeah, let's go left. Go left. We go left. left. Okay. Uh, does the door budge? Wait, wait is everyone in position? Ziga, where Ziga uh, wants to be? Here, here is probably, here is probably fine. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, juggling a kiddo. It's uh, fine. But, I just, uh, I just don't want 
something to start when you're not where you want to be. Yeah, no, I'm good here. Okay, uh, so the bar is seems to be pretty freely moving. Uh, you turn it and you push it, and the door comes open. Uh, and I don't have the right tool selected, and you open up a fresh room where a man, in tradition at this point, jumps forward and stabs at you. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I will say that uh, B probably like had her staff in one hand and kicked the door open after turning it. Yep, that's fine. Um, instead of using her hands. I'm going to imagine Miss that Mrs. Well, B. That says. Okay. And then I bring this back. And can I sort of think to right. clear it out? I would love a thing. Yeah, remove all turns. That's what I want. Yes. Go, go, gadget. This. Oh, I didn't. I, well, I rolled an 18, but it didn't add me to the thing because I can't. It's oh, really dumb that I have to select my token. That's, mm, that's dumb. It's a little awkward. Right, okay. Try again. There we go. That'll do. One, two... I don't have my character sheet open for anything other than this stupid initiative macro. And so I have to remember <laughs> to open it each time. And then I have to remember that I have a plus three, which is not calculated by the sheet, so that I <laughs> gotta go manually <laughs> modify it. Okay. Uh, what you could do is, um, after you type, after you press that button, you can press up to get the, uh, the rule for it. Uh, copy it, uh, copy and paste that into a macro of your own for now. What? <laughs> what? So, so after you, you press the button for the initiative, oh, go, into yeah. your, go into your text box, press the up arrow key. And you'll be given uh -huh. some gibberish, which represents that's, that's the role, role that's actually that's... making. Yeah. yeah, copy all of that and put that into a macro. And then just have it show up. What's, what's the, how do you do a macro? Oh, um, so you see the top right, the gear. Uh -huh. the, one, one to the, the tab to the left of that saying collection. Uh-huh. Macros there. Uh, press yeah. the add button at the top right. Oh, okay. Paste mm -hmm. it into actions. Give it a name to say, call it init or something. And then uh, have it click the show as token action. Thing. That way it only pops up when you're selecting your token, because that's how you're supposed to use it anyway. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, there we go. Cool. There you go. It still won't have the plus three unless you put that into your sheet. You might as well do you it. Might, yeah, you might want to just put that on your sheet at least. Yeah. That way you can just use this button. Yeah. Uh, fucking Tulip with the fucking initiative over here. Jesus. I you're really, know. you're really showing initiative there. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna fucking <laughs> <laughs> golf clap right now. You can run in there, bisect him, and then run back out. Like, yeah. Wait, does it do anything to my health if I go barbarian? <laughs> uh, I don't believe so. Rage. I think it gives you damage reduction, doesn't it? If you are if you aren't fatigued or raging, you gain temporary hit points equal to your level plus your constitution modifier, which will be three for you. Uh, it lasts for one minute, ten rounds, uh, or until there are no enemies you can perceive, or until you fall unconscious. You can't stop on your own. You deal two additional damage with melee and unarmed. Uh, minus one to AC, and you can't concentrate. I'd just walk in and twat it, to be honest with you. Put those extra hit points. <laughs> you could, so I would say you can either walk in rage and then slap him, or you can walk in slap him once and either if even if you miss, just walk back out. Yeah, all right, fine. It's up to I you. guess Tulip is going to, with an eerie calmness, walk forward, <laughs> get in this guy's face, swing once, maybe miss, probably miss. Uh, that will miss, yes. And then do slightly wide. Oh, I can't twat him a second time, can I? You, you could, or you, you could, could. Walk up to you. Oh yeah, yeah, you could back out. Oh, the crit! Or you bisect him. Or you bisect him. You... Or he's just dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like he just ceases to exist. You bisect <laughs> his ancestors. <laughs> literally, literally, you hear from another franchise, Exodia. <laughs> 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 These two guys in the back are shook. 
Uh, he Why was the shittest one, though, so that's that's to be expected. They put him up front as cannon fodder. Oh, that's rude. We never hit the first hit, only the second I, hit. Harder. I have to stay here now, right? Yes, you yeah. used all of your Reaction. actions. Alright, I'm gonna, I guess, stand here menacingly. <laughs> it was very menacing. I always miss that first strike. It's you like do. Tulip is teasing them, and then she comes around with the fucking Hail Mary, like, haha, JK, lol, you're dead. The first one is just to throw them off guard. Yeah, the Go first one. A little bit, and then just... their head comes off. It's the just one, they, they block it with their puny shit sword, which gets then, like, fucking crushed because your sword is giant. And then the <laughs> second one, they can't block you, or they try and block with, like, their arm, and you're like, no, you're dead. <laughs> Uh, Alright, that's two loops, go. She's okay. gonna fucking die. <laughs> so these two boys are basically acting together. Uh, mm -hmm. This one moves to here, and this one moves to here. And poking around the side of the boxes, they both yeet their spears forward at Tulip and B. Okay. Uh, that yep. one at Brown. Tulip, which will miss. Yep. Uh, that one at B, which will hit for two. A four, um, isn't it? It's, it's not a crit. four. Yes. God, it's a yeah, good thing yeah. it wasn't a crit because <laughs> blimey, <laughs> that extra damage. <laughs> uh, wow. And then with their remaining actions, they will pull another spear. From where? From whence? From hammer From their backs. They're not going to yeet their only weapon at you, are they? Well, yeah, I mean, they're <laughs> well, they're not that <laughs> shit. They're they're. Incompetent, not stupid. Jeez. I don't know. They're, pr they're pretty shit. They're pretty shit, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, okay. yes, that's that's <laughs> two, two damage on? to be, and you're having spears yeeted at you. Ah, uh, amazing. And then it's Chris's sure. turn. Uh, okay, so let me see here. I don't have spells on my character sheet because they were a bitch. They are so I'm bitch. just gonna read how I do my spells briefly. One sec. Sure. Sorry. Um... Would anybody be opposed to Ziggur going ahead and going now? Uh, we've got B before you. Right, I know, but I mean, between the three of us, it doesn't matter what what initiative order we go in. Sure. Yeah, I mean, um, if, you, if and that way I could acid slash and not have to worry about hitting any Alice. Yeah, although I won't actually be in range because I'm using a reach weapon. So. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that, yeah, it doesn't really matter all that much, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway since okay. I'm already ready. That will miss. Uh, but if you're doing acid splash, where are you doing it? Uh, where am I doing it? I'm yeah. gonna hit the. I was gonna hit the lower one. You were gonna hit Free that boy. Guy. Uh, the splash yeah. damage on still goes off on a miss, I believe. Oh, okay. Oh, so if, I did one point of damage. If, if, an, if an attack with splash fails, succeeds, or critically succeeds all creatures within the five feet, including the target, take the listed splash. Okay, okay. well, I'm going to uh, telekinetic projectile this lad. Sure. Is, uh, so that he, that, right, that I assume is going to hit. That will hit. Uh, which means he takes that. He I actually do 1d6 plus modifier, so... Splash well, 1d6 plus 4. That's not a plus. Yeeting a random rock off the floor into his face. Take I 9, think. I guess. Whatever. Which, which one was it? The, the bottom dude. The bottom one. He is out of here. Yeah, fuck you, Greg. That rock uh, penetrates his skull, and he is down. And then uh, I still have one action, so I'll... Um, Nudge fate, I guess. On B hasn't attacked yet, right? Correct. Correct. So I'll, I'll use nudge fate, uh, which essentially, for reference, Rev is um, uh, buh, 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 uh, and during the duration, which is up to a minute. Uh, if you if you would fail an attack roll, skill check, or saving throw, but a plus one would turn it into like Got the it. next step up. Mm -hmm. You use it and you get the. If it wouldn't, then nothing happens. It just stays on. Got you. it. Right. Okay, so it's, it's like normal. guidance plus, basically. Yeah, it's like it's better a, version it's of guidance. It's a held plus one. Got it. Yeah, it's like it, it uses it if you need it. Anyway, right. Carry okay. on. B is up. Got it. So, uh, B has her staff up. She's going to walk over to here. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, 
you know, you, all, you always check if you have enough room to actually swing something here, but seeing that she has, uh, she's going to horizontally swing the uh, staff and try to clunk them against the, the uh, against boxes. Against those boxes, sure. Yep. So, uh, flurry first, which is one, two. Wow. Uh, yeah, Nine. they'll both hit. Didn't actually roll damage. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, 14. Yeah, no, the that guy is dead. That guy okay. gets crushed into some boxes. Clunk, clunk. Boom, shakalaka. I'm just going to remove that. I'll leave the initiative up because, believe it or not, there's more combats to come. <laughs> wow, I'm astonished. Um, so, yeah, well done. You've uh, uh, fucking owned these boys. Uh, there is even more panicked yelling further to the west. Uh, people aren't okay. happy. Continue Got it. going left. Chris actually uh, says that. Sure. Uh, so B has a B uh, has an idea. Um, I'm assuming that the bar is still on our side for this door. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, how heavy are these boxes? They are pretty heavy. Uh, about the same kind of mass as the ones upstairs. Uh, are any of them, can they be opened, or are they, like, all sealed kind of thing? Uh, some of them are, like, halfway open. Sure. Um, if they're too heavy to move, she would like to take a few seconds to, to open it and pull, like, some random things out and just toss them on the ground. Hmm. Okay. Sometimes there's, like, so sealing items in there. <laughs> um, I mean, if, if it is, but if not, then she just wants the box, basically. The, yeah, I mean, it's mostly dried fish and, and like, supplies and some cloth and stuff. Sure, sure. Um, cloth enough to like potentially. Well, no, I was gonna say dress uh, Tulip's wound, but the, you're immune to that now. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you could dress it, but that doesn't actually heal the wound, really. Yeah. You're 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 immune to cloth. You're immune any, to any cloth. cloth that you will um, disintegrate in your clothing. I will remind you. I believe you found some potions of mysterious sticky red liquid in the boxes upstairs. Oh. Well. Did any? I don't think any of us were able to identify that, right, at the time. But I, don't I do remember have a... picking them up or trying to identify them or anything. I don't remember potions at all. There, I think they were on the desk, like on in the bottom floor. They were um, in the open crate that uh, Tulip looked in at the bottom floor. Mm -hmm. uh, have we? I'm assuming we've seen healing potions before. Yes. Do they resemble those at all? They could be mistaken for healing potions, yes. They could be mistaken for healing potions. I'm, I'm so, not yeah. telling you that they are healing potions. But, yep, I know. But you could they believe them. They look similar them. enough that yeah. you could... Yeah. In a pinch, Maybe you could take that risk. Right. Can, is, um, can I roll a check to see if I know whether they are healing potions? I've got decent crafting and whatnot. Uh, yeah, crafting would do the job. Uh, plus seven ain't good enough, apparently, here. Yeah, I rolled a six. <laughs> uh, I mean, the most common thing they could be is probably healing potions, but that guy had the teleportation circle in his basement, so who the fuck knows? Fair enough. They could be potions of bloodletting. They could be. They could literally make all of Tulip's blood just ooze out of her pores, but that's <laughs> also quite unlikely. This would only make her angrier. <laughs> well, it would make her look angrier, that's for sure. <laughs> Um, you have one action before you literally bleed out, and you choose to use it to rage. And you just breathe <laughs> 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 Clonk. Uh, so, uh, with that knowledge in our back pocket, uh, if B can get one or maybe even two empty, like, movable boxes, mm -hmm. um, she would like to stack one on top of the other, and maybe, maybe with uh, Tulip's help, uh, use those as cover while they're opening the door. Kind of thing. So, like, oh, open the door and push the door with the boxes. It looks down. Do I need to yeah. roll strength? Yeah, give me a strength roll for that. Okay. Uh, both of you. Okay. Let me open up my sheet again. Strength or athletics? Athletics is probably the one to go for, isn't it? Which means Tulip oh. will have to go again. Yeah, that's enough. You can you can manage that. Um, it's it's a bit finicky to get the bar because the bar wants to go back to its resting position, but you can you can just sure, yeah. about manage to um, to keep it held open and push it with the boxes. Um, mm -hmm. 
bodies draggable, like, to drag them out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, you'll have to pick them up in several pieces, but yes, you can eat them back All down right. into the previous I'm, room. I'm gonna go do a quick, like, ghetto burial for these guys, if I could mm -hmm. just move the corpses into the <laughs> just, other room. Just into here, in their various <laughs> yeah. pieces. You're just piling them up. No, <laughs> no, they'd be laid out respectfully. A mountain of corpses. Yeah, Tulip will throw some dried tulips down for them and, like, say namaste and then come back to help with the boxes. <laughs> uh, okay. So you, uh, you push the door open, and unfortunately this one's just an antechamber. There's just a little okay. corridor here. Um... <laughs> Tulip rages! <laughs> <laughs> oh, V rages. Uh, and you do in fact now have like boxes here which are gonna make it a little tricky to get past but... okay well tulip very gently kicks a box let's come back around <laughs> the other way i guess 1d4 of splinter damage you can keep this going like complete the yeah. oh, there, oh, there, there, is, there is another there is door another... have i done the thing fuck reveal area motherfucker there is another door there mm -hmm. so you can keep uh going. so on account of the, the poor decision to use the boxes here, um, B is going to get a little less patient and only use one, if she can, she's only going to use one box for the next one. Mm -hmm. So if someone's aiming at her face, then maybe that doesn't work, but sure. it's, it's easier to, to do. Are you going to use a fresh box or one of the ones in the doorway? One of the ones in the doorway. Okay. So uh, that is going to end up probably about there. Yep. Uh, and you do the same. And in fact, uh, this one opens up quite happily. And you hear some right. yelling that appears to be coming from further inside the room. Okay. Perfectly fine. If she doesn't see anyone looking to stab her, uh, she's going to walk over here and peek over, like, she's going to duck, like, to crate level and peek around the side. So sure. I'm just going to let Ziggy catch up here. To where no, I, I'm actually specifically moving where I am that, you, so okay. that I, I I'm have, keeping a complete line of sight down the hallway. <laughs> I have I have no idea if you're present or dealing with child at any one given time. So. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. Currently, she's occupied on the phone. Cool. So you okay. might hear the phone periodically. But... That's that's fine. Okay, so B's peeking around there. Yep. And B will see a deeper room, which uh, appears to be full of beds. Uh, and indeed, it goes further than that, and there are some gribbles at the end of the room. Got it, okay. Uh, B is going to make a all-clear signal with her hands. I don't know if she's ever discussed that with the others. Um, if not, she, she makes a gesture with her hands, and uh, she uh, she is starts And around. moving that far, you can see a bit yeah. more. Okay. And as you come into vision... This motherfucker way in the back here yells, "Kill them! They can't leave this place." Okay. Sugar. Huh? Sorry. Are those shogoths? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> they're they're just different looking merfolk. Are they uglier? Um. Debatable. Debatable. I this, feel that one's kind of hot. This one's definitely more fishy. Uh, mm. This one's probably a bit more humanoid, but a bit weirder. Uh, and then, and then this guy, in fact, he fucking scuffles off over this way. You know what? I just realized. Mm? Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure that unless it is literally one way, that Ziga could actually escape here. Because I have oh, jumped. Wait, hold on, that was not that guy. Not that guy. <laughs> this guy. I could jump thirty feet in the air, which would probably get me back up to the water. <laughs> <laughs> well, the water is a bubble. You just need to go outside of the air bubble and swim up. Oh, oh it's, 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 like it's not. It, it's not a plane of water. You have like a hemisphere in the entranceway. Of so of we air. could theoretically go get those healing items and come back if we wished. You could, but God only knows what would happen in your absence. More surprise attack for the tip. Rapid breeding. <laughs> rapid breeding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who knows? Maybe they have that in their genetic ability. List of I think we're about to get attacked, so are we rolling initiative again? <laughs> um, yes. Yes, I think we are. Uh, <laughs> oh, I suck at initiative today. Oh my god, oh, Ziggur. not open that? 
Okay, bear with me. Nice uh, one. Oh, well, they're they're pretty far away, so we're probably. Oh, that was okay. one. Oh, because so that is a four. <laughs> that wasn't the plus four. That, <laughs> that wasn't without the plus three. That was one. with the plus three. I also have a one. That was a. Clearly, I did not expect there to be people here, even though. <laughs> did that work? That did work. Beautiful. Okay, this is going well. Oh my god, Tulip. <laughs> Tulip wins out even with a 13. <laughs> I'm gonna We're die. Right there. <laughs> I don't know if we want to go in there. <laughs> you could uh, just hide behind a bed or so something. So far, what I'm learning is that everyone else is kind of brazen, and Zigger is like super not. <laughs> like, everyone else is like, let's just go! And Zigger's like, maybe we should not do that. <laughs> well, like... Yeah, I, I probably, I, I honestly, in character, I probably would have left and never come down here if it hadn't been for y'all. <laughs> like, this is not worth it. I don't even want to get wet. Fine. Hula moves before her persnickety older brother. And how long does rage last? T uh, ten Why rounds. are you coming back to me? So I don't get fucking spear sniped, you bitch. They had to oh, move I thought you were up. about to rage. I thought you were about to rage and hit me. No. <laughs> they they had to move up in that tiny room to hit you with the spears. They're not going to manage it from all the way back there. Yeah, but if I run out there, yeah, like, a, there's no way I can get them from this. Distance. It has twenty foot range, so yeah. You're they, not gonna. I don't think you're gonna get over there and do anything productive. We could just wait for them to come over here. Yeah, that's what I'm just gonna do is just wait yeah, until yeah. they come to us, rage, and then go beat the shit out of them. <laughs> they yeah, were quite a long way away. They were commanded to kill us, so if they follow that command, they have to. They got to come over here, probably. If I had my tank, I would charge in there like the idiot I am meant to be. But unfortunately, I must stay here. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that your turn then? Yes. I have no mouth and I must rage. <laughs> okay, it is all of the sea folk. Uh, right. This fella is gonna move to uh, one, two, three, four and a half, about there. This fella is gonna move to here. This fella is gonna move to here. And the guy in the back is gonna point a finger at B. And oh no! Really, fucking go at it and shoot a ray of frost at you. Uh, I thought what, it was gonna be a What lightning. the fuck range is this ray of frost? One twenty. This is one of the. Holy ah, shit! It does not. Oh, ah, that's <laughs> and she uh, steps to the side slightly. Yeah. Just whoop. <laughs> nope. Uh, ah, yeah. That's the noise he makes. <laughs> Makes sense. I love how dignified these people are. Yeah. <laughs> can, she, can she shout something rude back? Oh, yeah. She can just go back if you want. <laughs> she, she is going to use words. She says, I can see what you're, where you're shooting from, you know. There's only one way I could come from. <laughs> uh, Chris is up. Uh, you're, you're uh, cool. Um, Wait, I just realized I did they say kill them? in common just for our benefit instead of speaking their own language <laughs> they definitely did say it in common maybe that one only speaks common maybe that one is someone masquerading as a sea folk i mean they're far <laughs> enough away that i actually can't hit them with literally anything uh so i guess i hmm. if i, I, I... I was going to say, I guess I put uh, Nudge Fate on B again, because they actually still have an action to take. Sure. Uh, um, carry on. Wow, did, did if you were going... A one on that initiative. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you were going to uh, do something helpful from there, B would probably yell, can you, can you grab me those spears they were using? Uh, can I actually do that in a turn? Like, where are the spears? Like, over here? Yeah, it would Probably be... Probably they're still on the ground over one, here. From where one, one move to get there, one move to grab them, one move to get back. Uh, assuming you can get... If you're willing to do that. Up to you. I actually don't think I can do that. That's like three... That's like two turns of me... Oh, true, yeah. Okay. over, picking stuff up and... Can I yeah, just eat Chris to save him something? <laughs> 
so I mean, I I guess I'll yeah I'll, I'll nudge fate you again, and then I'll uh I again like all of my protective stuff doesn't work either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because like, it's only got 30 foot range, so shrug, um, walk out a bit because I need to actually be able to attack. <laughs> yeah, that's 45, so I was here, but I have to go like 5, 10, 15, 20. No, I can't actually attack, so I guess I'll stay here for now. <laughs> and nudge. Yeah, nudge fate that. Yeah. That's two actions. I, I guess I give up on an action. Shrug. Sure. Okay. Please turn. Uh, okay, let's see. What's the distance here? Uh, I may have to ask you for a uh, for rolling on an act on a different kind of action. Mm -hmm. um, if B wanted to run around to here and push the box up to like here, I must. That would take at least three actions, maybe four. I think. I what am would you... not seeing any indicators of pushing where to where. Oh, uh, hang on. I think I'm is, sure. it, is it this so, box? Yes. Yeah, so if you were to run around to here, that's a stride. So I don't. Here. I don't think there's a codified action cost for pushing something. Uh, but I'm. If I assume it takes the other two actions to like push it to here or something. Um. I think it would probably be an athletics shove. Okay. Which is one action. If you have one hand free, um, yep. on a success, you push it five feet. You can stride after it, but must move the same distance in the same direction. Got it. Okay. Uh, so you could shove see. that box twice to have it end up where you currently are. Uh, okay, got a, it. A crit success would do it in one. Got it, okay. Uh, what's the DC on that? I'm going to try that. Uh, opponent's Fortitude DC. It's a box, so <laughs> probably not difficult. I won't give you exa an exact number, but uh, sure, sure. I do have one currently in mind. You manage it, yeah. Uh, it moves okay. five feet to Got it. here. Oh, no, it doesn't snap because it's a scribble. Yep. Uh, let's see, and I can only shove it left again from here, so I guess I'm going to do that. If only uh, that was the first. Yeah, that's a real <laughs> shame. You cram it into that wall and it cracks a little bit, but it's it's good to cover. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's B's turn for now. Okay, Ziga. I was trying to figure out if I had anything that would be helpful in this situation at all. I know, right? And I do not. I, I probably need to re-choose my spells at some point. Like, I, I assume I'll be okay to do that because if yeah, I mean, I if I, I after, after this first combat, definitely, if you want to have a repick of your known spells, then I'm, I yeah, well, I need to, like, in need between to swap, sessions, I need because, to swap yeah. invoke true name for something else personally. Because I have three AOE spells, and my only non-AOE spell is a. Uh, you have to be adjacent to the enemy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, that's there. Cool. There is a. Dirt th there is a rock themed uh, cantrip that is a good damage spell um, that I'll suggest to you after. Okay, yeah, that'd, that'd be good. I may, I may have overlooked it. I was looking yeah. relatively quickly. Um, yeah. I honestly don't see anything that I can do in the current moment, so I might want to just hang out here and just keep keep watch on our flank. Consider I mean, what, I could just consider what the opponent's next move is probably going to be. Yeah, probably get closer and probably clump up for uh, potential AOE, but I can just move then. Two, three, four, five. I guess I don't have enough movement to do that. So, okay, I'll move to here. I was sure. going to say, I, I, it, it, it's a little meta, but truthfully, if something were to randomly appear from the other side of the corridor, it would take it like 12 turns to reach us. Not 12 turns, but like two turns. Yeah, we're taking, yeah, yeah two, two turns to get to you, three turns to hit. Yeah. They would have to wait for a long speed. fucking way to go. We'd also right. hear it, I would imagine. If you wanted to, you know, toss over those spears, that would be nice. If you were oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can, I can grab them. Uh, there's probably at least one or two spears, because one of the bodies, like, died right, like, right here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I grab, like, three of the spears. And bring them with me and uh, toss them at B's feet. Okay, so there are uh, 
some spears there. Perfect. Uh, and that is all three of Ziggur's actions. Tulip. Oh, beans. Currently um... raging? Yep. Am I? Did you say you were? I thought you said you raged out. Oh, I thought we decided rage? against. No, I thought we decided against that. Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, because we're uh, wasn't wading into combat yet. Um, can I potentially grab more boxes and start pushing forward so we can kind of meet these guys halfway? You could get, but you could get a new box. You'd have to maneuver it around Ziggur, or you could get behind the one that B's next to. Uh, get like here and push it up the the path. Is B okay with that? Yeah, no, that would be great. Tulip's gonna move here. Move to there, and... yeah. Uh, one action to athletics push it or shove it. Uh, that will succeed. It moves up five. And you can follow it for free, I think. Cool. Can I push it yeah, again, or is that it? You can push it one more time, yes. That would be your third action. Ooh, just, yes. It goes, and you can follow again. Cool. That's two of them. Cool. Um, the sea folk, well, the warriors seem pretty content, given you're coming to them, so they're going to stick around. <laughs> uh, it... The wave call is going to be like, shit, there's more of them, and point at Chris. <laughs> no. Uh, as, as Chris is the least obstructed currently. Mm -hmm. uh, do I even have the right sheet open? Yes, I do. Wow! Wow. Nice damage. <laughs> Thank you for zero. For zero. <laughs> Hold on, wait, no. Oh, that, no, no, no that's, that's impressively shit. Is that right? Has that done right? That hasn't done right. Sorry. That it says plus minus two. Uh, it? That, the, the plus minus two is correct. It's not adding the right um, stat. That's meant to be plus two right. on that. So it should, so it should hit for two. Four. I, I take two damages. Unless it crits you, yeah. Let me. I mean, it's a, it rolled a. It's not a crit. It's fifteen. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good then. Uh, ability. Oh wait, no, no. It needs. It needs to beat my AC by ten. Yes. Right? Yeah. No, I have fourteen. AC. Cool. Okay. Uh, right. So I take what two damages? Two damages. Yes. Okay. Fourteen current hit points. <laughs> Go. Did that actually work? Whatever. That'll do. Cool. Uh, to be clear, these beds um, are, let's say, difficult terrain to climb over. So uh, okay. double double movement. Can we pick them up? Mm, they're made of stone and they're six foot long and like two foot wide, so probably not. Aww. Maybe another six levels or so. Yeah, for a, few, you. a few levels you can probably manage it, but right now they're Heavier than the entire party put together. can pick up an entire goddamn bed. An entire six foot by two foot stone slab? No, that's quite big. Man, I thought this was a free country. <laughs> Can't get thrown stone beds at Merfolk. <laughs> so rude. Okay, Chris. Yeah, I see. Why are we pushing this box along right now? Where's <laughs> my over. question. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. The box. God. I, but I feel like the longer we do this, the more he just shoots Ray of Frost, as opposed to, I don't know, you just run up and they oh. die because you have death touch, effectively. Um, Maybe bisect them, live by your own Yeah, advice. pretty much exactly, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I guess... God. It really shouldn't be me walking out first. <laughs> Like it's my issue, um, because I mean, like if I if I get if I go within range of actually hitting them, then they are in range of hitting me, uh, which is a bad thing because I am a squishy little shit made of paper. Uh, so I am going to not walk out first. I'm going <laughs> to delay my action. You guys go. Okay. Sure, I was, <laughs> I was gonna do that anyway. <laughs> Be is up. Okay. I'm just looking up javelins because these are javelins, right? Uh, spears. Phone spears. Spears. Okay. Let me look that up. Make sure I have the right numbers. Uh, uh, simple. Uh, yeah, 20 foot thrown. 1d6 yeah. damage. Uh, okay. So 
thought it. So, all right, so 20 feet of that. If I were to pick up and I move 20 feet, that's not far enough. Okay. Uh, if I were to use a, I think dropping is a free action, but any sort of ob object interaction is like one action. Is I believe that correct? so, yes. Sure. Um, so if I want to take, for example, two of the spears, uh, just pick them up, not to wield them. Yeah. Uh, run forward to wherever I can go, and then drop them. I think that's two actions at that point. Uh, you'd have to do something with your stuff. Oh, like if I can I like pick up two of them, not for wielding, and hold my staff in my other uh, free hand. Sure. Yeah, go on then. Sure. So she's gonna pick up two. Run up to here. Mm -hmm. uh, just drop them to the side, like haphazardly. Oh fuck! I made one huge. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I could throw it, I would be more than happy to. Oh god! I'm just—they're so small, I can't actually select them. So I'm just gonna have to make some new ones. There we go. Sure, B sure. Is, B is trying to engage the one one person railgun method. Yeah. yeah. With the giant spear. <laughs> hey, if I can throw it, I'll is this drill that will pierce the heavens, etc. Yes. Um, and then she would like to use the last action to hold up her uh, her staff in a parrying stance, which is a uh, parry action. Oh, sure. Just uh, raise AC by one. That's all. Sure, staves can do that, can they? Yep. They have, or uh, a bow staff can as the parry tag. Sure. Okay, right, that's it for me. Uh, Chris? Um, I mean, I Continue can't to really delay. do a huge amount. Well, there's not really much point because the martial characters aren't going on. Like, I'll move out here, I guess. Sure. Go ahead. Ziga? I also don't have the range to do anything, so I guess I'll just move to here and hide behind the bed. Sure. I see you there. I see you doing exactly what I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm just crouching behind the bed. This feels like this feels like an an XCOM combat. It does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god. Well, then um... it wouldn't be very clever to run out into the open. But what can you do? No, I would get absolutely deleted. Is my issue, so I can't really. <laughs> oh no no! I I'm the one doing that, which is less smart. That's all. Can I move here-ish? Is that too far? Uh, so because the box is in the way, you would have to go. I'm not showing that to anyone. There. There. Like that. Uh, I think you can do that, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, I should I'll probably be that. treating diagonals as one and a half, but that causes more headaches, so. Uh, I will do that and try and hide behind the bed. Unsuccessfully, okay. probably. <laughs> you are now in a position to see the back. Is that, is that hidden space? Or is that revealed space? That high hid space, okay. There's not a whole lot more back there, but there is a bit more there. Mm. Okay, everyone's hiding behind beds. Well, yeah. Fuck these guys. Except the one uh, juicy target in the middle. Yeah, juicy target in the middle. Uh, about that. So you are now a juicy target in the middle. Yes. Um, Come at me. <laughs> one to here, one to here. Mm -hmm. uh, one of these from the guy in the back, which will miss. He's doing a really bad job of hitting people with that. Did I roll that twice? Uh, no, the previous one was the last one was no. Me. Literally, no one has done anything since then. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and fostering an angry. Uh, Angry looks. And the other two will throw spears and pull their backups. Okay. For a miss and a miss. The spears Peace. clatter around you. Yeah. One the ray of frost blasts one of them out of the air. And they're like, fuck. We <laughs> practice this guys. If, if I can make it uh if I can make it a little more interesting, can I do uh have you watched Mulan? No. No. Okay. But I'm familiar I'm vaguely familiar with the tropes. 
Sure. So she, so there's a scene where uh, Mulan is training and trying to like using a staff and trying to deflect some rocks from at her. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. she she swings her her staff around but doesn't hit any of them because mm. they, they all miss. Uh, which I imagine is something like what what's happening here. Yes. Uh, B is looks... up. Okay. Um. Well, she looks at the spears beside her. She looks at the two people trying to. Like the two grown ass merfolk trying to hide behind the beds. And she just says, screw it. Uh, she walks forward uh, two steps here. Mm-hmm. Um, would you. S- I, think, I think the position would make this one a little bit hard. Um, can I bonk this guy? Yes. He has partial cover. Okay. Uh, don't maybe worry about maybe... that. I'll, I'll deal with that if you want to. Sure. Do it. Maybe he's a little. Maybe it's a little too tall to go all the way under the bed. Oh, yeah. No, these beds aren't particularly <laughs> high off the ground. Sure, sure. Uh, but uh, so she's going wa- go yeah, to walk there and flurry at him. Yep. Oh, let's see if I can press the right button. That's the one. That probably actually that knocks him out. will hit, and that alone will fucking send him tumbling over the bed. Okay. Oh. Uh, I mean, we're at the... I'm just gonna double check. I think Flurry. Amber, can please, up. please speak at my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch! Uh, <laughs> uh, so yes, Flurry can be used at two different targets. Do you I'm have to? Second. Do you have to declare that before you use it, or can you? I don't know that actually. Uh, let's see. I think you are supposed to. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. sure. So let's say they let's say I have to, and so she over, she swings, but the other guy's already already gone. Already disappeared. Yeah, uh, she'll take the other uh, action to parry again. Sure. Okay. Chris, Chris, um, you're making some ground now, and there's a marshal up front. Yeah, there, in fact, yes, there is a person who doesn't fall over like it. I mean, I can actually shoot him because he moved forward, so ah, I'm going to shoot him. Sure, go for it. <laughs> they were just too far away. I would have yeah. just shot them. Like, yeah. I don't know. Um, so, D20. TK projectile again. Yeah, because it's my only mm-hmm. damaging thing. We're going to see a lot of telekinetic projectile, I think. Yep. Oh, fuck me. Uh, yeah, that'll hit him. Do I crit? Uh no, no, okay. unfortunately not. Um yeah, so D D six plus four. Quonk. Oh yeah, no that that knocks him out as well. These guys are pussies. Oh my god, get Quonk. wrecked, idiot! Yeah, just straight to the dome. Down he goes. Um. <laughs> It's kind of funny. Uh, okay. Um, I guess then I should move because I can't reach the other fucko, mm. so I'll move up. Can I reach him from here? Not uh, Whatever. Fine. You're going to hop up here. on the bed like a gremlin and like gap. I can do that. I'll do. There we go. <laughs> Fuck it. I think. Do you have enough movement to get up there this turn? Yeah. Uh, just... I was only. Here. I was only. I was only yeah. like, you were, you were there, but yeah, yeah. Move hey, uh, carry on. Move up there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so Zigger, no gold, ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for a little while. I'm oh, moving yeah. up to there and acid splash in the um the caster. Yeah, that's thirty foot. Go for it. Um, okay, so that's just a D six plus one. Why oh, is shit, it the would... primal? What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, I was gonna say why is it the primal is basically nerfed to only have like elemental magic and stuff like that, and my spell is inferior to Chris's as far as damage goes. We I only you have picked, damage spells. You picked the worst spell. Oh, <laughs> that, that's the short. <laughs> that's the short of it. You literally picked the worst option. The literal worst. What? Worst, I, I, the worst options, I should say, because Gale Blast is also bad. I think Excellent. that mine is about the best damage cantrip I can have out it, of a cultism. It's up there, yeah. 
Can you guys okay. see its health bar? No. Good. No. Good. I haven't fucked that up. Okay. <laughs> so you hit it and it gets a little bit melty and it's not happy about things. It's yelling and trying to shake off the acid a bit. Uh, it should also take the one splash, which I have neglected to do. Um, that one doesn't... Does that do persistent? Uh, not one? unless I crit. Not unless you crit. Okay, cool. Yes, he was very unhappy about that. But he is still standing. <laughs> uh, Tulip. Oh dear. Uh, how far can I move? 25 I base, leave... I think. Yep. I did leave you some spears if you need them. You can. Yeah, I, would, you... I would love to pick up a spear and yeet it at this asshole if possible. It you needs, could... It's got a range of 20 feet. So yeah. pick it up, walk up, throw it. Yeah. Sure. Right? Yes. Wait, so you pick I just, it up. I just realized when we came into this room, there was four, right? Yes. And then did one of them leave the room? Yeah, he fucked off out the door in the back. Okay. Yeah, you can you can like pick it up, walk to here, and then throw it at him. Yes. Okay, I'll, I will do that. Cool. Um. So, oh god, what's that to hit? That's a dex because it's thrown. To uh, throw. You throw this weapon as a ranged attack, as a ranged weapon when thrown, it adds your strength modifier to damage, just like melee. melee. So yes, dex-based attack roll. So, just so roll 1d20 plus what your dex modifier is. And then also the uh, proficiency, which is 3, three I think. Right now. Yeah. Okay. So what's your dexterity? Oh fuck, I have no idea. 12, I think. Okay, it's so roll. that would make it 1d20 plus 4. 4, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so roll. If you literally type roll one slash roll one d twenty plus four, it will do it for you. Do I need a space between them? Yeah, uh, uh, between roll and one d twenty. Okay. Uh... That yeah. will sadly go wide and embed itself in the uh, the barrels at the back there. Can the barrels topple down upon him? Afraid. <laughs> I that guess that's my turn. Uh, I he's I can throw a at him. dead. He's dead. This guy is unhappy. Uh, Tulip's just run up and yeeted a pointy stick at him, so Tulip's gonna get... Ooh. Ooh. Wait, no, there are options here. <laughs> um... If okay, so powder. so pointy sticks are one thing, but like massive gobs of acid are another. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Ziggur is going to get hit with a jet of water that comes shooting out the wall. It like <laughs> seeps through the rocks and shoots into him. Uh, and probably doesn't actually hit. <laughs> I don't think so. I think he has AC. Yeah, he has 15 AC. Okay, so uh, Ziggy gets wet. Very wet. Uh, and then he's like, Woo, no. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> My friends are dead. I'm leaving. <laughs> what? Can I chase? Like, we can chase, right? Uh, Well, on your turns, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just want to make a side comment that water is probably Ziggy's worst enemy because... Ziga is a cat slash rock type, which makes yes. it kind of effective. For yeah, yeah double, for double super effective. effective yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, are we doing? Are we tracking the diagonals, or can I just move? Uh, wherever let's it's track the diagonals because I suspect there is balance consideration there, and that is the system default. Got it. So, uh, going to here would cost 20, 30 feet of movement because there's two diagonals. Uh, How like, much does the diagonal yes. cost you? Sorry. I'm just looking okay. it up to make sure. Um, moving diagonally covers more ground. It counts differently. The first square counts as five. The second is ten. Yeah, so it's sure. one, two, one, two yeah. costs. Uh, so let's go here. That's, that's 30. So I'm going to take two strides. Mm -hmm. so that's I have a total of 50, I believe. Yeah. Uh, that's 30. Uh, oh, it's counting the. Okay, let's see. This is uh, there 30, might 35. there might be a, a battle map setting I can do for the diagonals in future. I'm not sure. 30, 35, 40, 50. 
Actually, I don't even need to go that far. I'll just go here. Yeah. So that's two strides and flurry. Our, our fellow gives a yelp as he's being chased by this lady with a stick. I hope he gives a thunk a second later. Let's see. Uh, that will yeah. hit and miss. Mm -hmm. Um, he takes it to the fucking kneecaps, but he is still standing. This guy's a bit Got tougher. It. Sure. Uh, he's definitely worse for wear, though. He's his clothes, sure, sure. such as they are, are melting, and he's hobbling along. It's, it's <laughs> sad times. Uh, for future reference, also, I looked it up. Uh, you can indeed. Uh, wait for one strike to resolve first and then target the second flurry. Sure. Alright, that's it for me. Uh, Can you okay. send me the thing on that so I have it? Sure. Yep. Thank you. I mean, how far away is he? He's within TK range. I guess I'll shoot him. Right. Well, but, but, but what if he has knowledge? Okay, that hits. Oh. Oh. Minimum it, damage. He's still standing. Uh this guy is is looking very worse for wear. Uh but he is still on his feet just about. Is it Ziggo with the closing out? Yeah, let's do that. Wait, what if he knows things? Then he can speak with dead. I mean, we have to stop him running away. Um, <laughs> by killing him? Um, yes. Philip does not feel good being the monster of this group all of a sudden. <laughs> nope. Tulip can't, or Zika can't hit shit. Uh, correct. Zika can't hit shit. Oh. Oof. Doesn't it take one splash anyway? Oh yeah, I guess it does do one. Uh, one yes, it does do one splash, and this guy is so close. <laughs> I was going to say <laughs> if he falls over to the one damage. No, his shoes are melting and he's whimpering and yelling, but he's he's still up. He's still sadly up. Oh, I hate this. Um, he's sad for sure. Like betwixt my brothers, I guess. Can this guy hear me if I shout at him? Oh yeah. Can I just like ask him like why why do you want us dead? Like what the fuck is happening here? He's too concerned with melting to intelligently answer you, I'm afraid. I don't want to kill him. <laughs> I feel bad. Would you like to do anything else on your turn? I don't feel bad for him at all. They they <laughs> Am us. Amber needs to play a bard. <laughs> well, instead of killing everything, try and sleep with everything. Yes. <laughs> can I? I can't diplomacy, Adam. Can I? You can try and roll diplomacy to do a diplomacy action, Adam. I fear the talking option has failed us. Uh. What? What are you doing? Where are we going? Are you making a request? Oh, you can I... only do that to a creature that is friendly or helpful to you. So I unless can't just like, talk to this guy, I mean, you can talk to them, but like he's melting on the floor with three broken bones and a large hole in him. Oh my god! Can I just like knock this guy out without killing him? I just I don't you, want him you to can, like, suffer. You can attempt to do non-lethal damage. Yeah. All right. What do I need to do? Well, you need to get up next to him. Can I do? But that? you can do another movement action. I think. Yes. Uh, and then you can just try and whack him, I think, with a, with a penalty. Uh, Non-lethal attacks. Weapons without a... Uh, minus two to attack. Okay, so do I just roll the bastard sword and then mm. minus two off of that? Yeah, roll it normally and we'll, we'll do it on the fly. Uh, no. Even, even if we had some... Even if we had some reason to believe that he would be interested in talking with us after we knock him out and then woke him back up, we don't have time to do it in an interrogation. I just like, kill. like we, we we have the other guy that ran off you and is probably setting up people. <laughs> Tulip is a very friendly barbarian. 
I can't do anything else, right? I can't second strike. Uh, no, you used all of your actions you to move twice. the pit. So it is okay. his. It is his go, um, and he will move to here, spend an action to open the door, and then fuck off <laughs> with the door closing behind him. Well, B. He closed the door. Why would he do that? Is that I the wonder. only? Is there a door on this side, or is that the only door up there? That is the only door. I can I can reveal sure. more of the map because it's yeah. That's fine. I just uh, was it, it was a little bit cut off. So. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so cool glowy flowers. Yeah, since you've revealed the map, he uh, dives and dives out the wall and uh, falls from the outside. But uh, no. Uh, so <laughs> let's go over here. One move. And, uh, yep, so uh, which way did this door swing? Uh, away from you. Okay. Uh, she's going to... Hmm. Opening the door would be one action. Mm -hmm. And then, unless the guy is right next to the door, she's not going to be able to hit. Uh... Let's open the door. Okay. You open the door. And, you and that was like, no. the wrong tool, because I want to reveal. Uh, and you can just about see him around the corner there. Stop. Freeze right there. Um, Stop right Stop there. Are you a crime, you know? Oh my god, please. <laughs> Stop right there, thank ah. you very much. I need somebody with a chilling touch. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, if if she could throw her bow staff, she probably would in this case, but she can't, so that's unfortunate. Uh I think You know what? She's she's impulsive enough to do this. She's gonna chase after the fool. Beatrice. Okay. That's not her name. I know. Her name's Rabina. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Rivina? Yes. Right, you see the rest of this corridor. It's another one of those airlock shenanigans. Try opening that door. I dare you. Oh my god. B, you're being so mean to your boyfriend. God. I would be caught dead with this guy. And quite literally, I don't want to be caught dead with this guy. <laughs> that would mean I'm dead. Chris? Uh, I mean, I can't, I don't think there's any way, so I can go like, what, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 acid. <laughs> I, I really can't catch up, uh, 20, 25, I don't think I can reach from here. No, I am. F You're just shy. Oh my god, that's the worst. <laughs> that is the literal worst. I mean, amusingly, so so I could burn a first level spell slot to make him literally run into the wall for his turn, but I'm not going to. Um, He's what? having a bad day. <laughs> his move would be. Oh, he has to move in the same direction that he did before, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah, that would he be. He has to do exactly the same thing. Yeah. So he would run full up, 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 right. Basically, he'd like headbang this wall for a bit. Well, because he, move, like, he moved, he moved yeah. to the to the right as well when he moved to open the door. So he would end up here, and then use an action to open the door, and then end up like here. Well, no, but he'd try and open a door that's in front of him, not to his right. Oh, true. Yeah. Because he has to, so he has to be facing this way. Anyway, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'll just catch up. Um, sure. I'm done. Uh, you do have one more movement. Or one more action, I believe. Uh, sure, whatever. If you, you if you want. I'm just putting it out there. It's fine. Why not? Screw it. <laughs> cool. Zigga zigga. I'm going to say that every time. I'm going to just go there. Uh, I entirely believe that you have that much movement, so sure. Uh, with three actions. Yeah, yeah, with three actions, that's fine. Uh, is that everything? I think so. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Cool. You, you could technically focus uh, cantrip the guy, or focus spell the guy for one action attack. Focus spell. Elemental toss. Yes. 
You can throw a rock at him. Oh. Don't tell me you forgot about Elemental Toss. I didn't know what Elemental Toss is. It's not I, that I, see, I see it now. Yeah, I guess I could do that. That That's actually better than every spell that I have, pretty much. Uh, it, that you is... can only do it once per focus, but I mean... Yeah, it's not a What is a focus? Uh, it takes 10 minutes to refocus, uh, but like you can... And it, uh, you have a focus pull of one if you have that, which you do just by taking the bloodline. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Oh, is it me? Uh, it will be in a moment. Uh, because... No, I'll just roll a one again. Yeah, just roll a one again. <laughs> it clang the, the rock clangs against the bulkhead door, and everyone behind it definitely knows you're coming. Oh, of course. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, if they didn't already have an, uh, like an announcer. Yeah. Uh, that, does that have a that doesn't have a crit fail clause on it or anything, does it? No. Cool. No. Uh, no. Shouldn't do this. clause, but it. Sadness. I'm, I don't know what to worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, it is it is Tulip then. Okay, I think the only thing I can really do is like get here. I don't think I can do anything to the One, guy. Two, three. Yeah. I mean, you can walk four, all the way up five. here and try and non-lethal him again if you want. Yeah, you could totally get next to him and non-lethal him. All right, I'll do that. Go go gadget bastard sword. <laughs> Why is Tulip having a sudden like change of heart? What's going? Oh my god. It hits. It doesn't crit, thankfully, but it does knock him the fuck out. This guy is unconscious. Yeah, I, I do. I do also wonder about the uh, sudden change of heart. These, yeah, I mean, they have gone like we must kill them. So they are definitely the aggressors. I. I'm a big pansy. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> I'll, try funny. Try, I'll try and cosplay a murderous barbarian as hard Amber. as I can, but Amber, just... Amber. Knocking, knocking people hard. knocking people out this way has its perks, but you don't get to add a notch to your bisected list. Yeah, the bisecting is at least like kind of quick and painless, you would hope so, but this guy's like melting and in agony and i just don't like i don't feel it sporting so i they would have stabbed us to death with as many attacks as they possibly could whatever i'm just gonna take this guy's <laughs> body and put it in a fucking box or on a bed you just don't leave me alone i'm taking this guy's body fuck you okay all right i guess i'll put him okay. there then um beyond the door <laughs> is eerily quiet they are ready for us probably uh he will make a comment on that uh and she'll turn to the rest of the group and she'll say do you think it's worth going around just so that because they know we're coming from this direction i mean it might not be now if they're literally listening behind the door but if they're but not we don't, great idea. we don't even know if it connects around the other way I guess you're yep. right. It would fuck with them, though. <laughs> well, assuming they don't hear us coming from the other direction, which they probably would, to be honest, to be fair. But <laughs> I mean, it's it's taken you probably ten minutes and three bloody combats to get this far. Yes, yes. So probably the same on the other side too. All right. Well, uh, you will move up next to the door and say, "Everyone ready?" Yep. Sure. Why not? <laughs> yep. Okay. And, uh, uh, so, sorry, just um, yeah. this is kind of a mechanical question. I'm not exactly sure how this works. Mm -hmm. um, oh, no, never mind. Sorry, no. It, it, it needs an enemy target. Ignore me. Carry okay. on. Uh, let's just clear that out again. Okay. What is your action? Um, given that she's pretty sure that there are people behind there waiting, uh, she would like to, uh, unlatch the door, like open it up, mm -hmm. but then, uh, stand next to the, like, I guess 
the corner where wherever it's swinging from mm -hmm. and like push it open slowly wait a second waiting can i theoretically pick up this dude's body and use it as a meat shield <laughs> Wait, okay. hey, but, wait, wait, you go from, um, I'm going to chop them in half, to, I have to protect this guy who wanted to kill me at all costs, to, I'm going to use his body as a meat shield. And maybe they'll be a little less, you know, willing I'm, to kill one of I'm their- I'm whiplash. I mean, I mean, they're dead. He isn't care. dead. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The other ones are. The other ones are, yeah. Okay, okay. Let, okay, maybe not as a meat shield, but maybe, like, we carry him in as a show of goodwill, as if to say we <laughs> could have bisected your guy, but we didn't. We only roughed him up a you little You only bit. bisected nine of them previously. Yeah, well... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If if Tulip says that in character, then B is going to deadpan at her. I don't think that's going to go over very well. Yeah. As the GM, you can certainly try. <laughs> like it, I, I know Tulip starts, starts talking about trying to show like goodwill, like walking in, be like, "Look, we didn't cut your friend in half," and and Chris is gonna like slowly like put his hand on her shoulder and be like, "Tulip, they they don't care." <laughs> They tried to kill us the moment we looked around the corner. Also, you may not have cut that friend in half, points at the guy that she's like laid out on the bed. But you did cut that one in half, points at one of the men that he said she cut in half. I've only cut two men in half. The other ones have been bludgeoned to death by tiny monk sister. What do you mean? <laughs> like, B's the real killer here. Hey, kill a B! Yeah. Oh my, oh my god. God. It's not my <laughs> fault to have eggshells for skulls, okay? You would think with all the water pressure they would they wouldn't. That's not actually do. a valid legal defense, so you might not want to use that one. <laughs> B, I love you. B, B does, does not have legal mind. lore, so <laughs> screw it. Oh no. Uh, uh, that does remind me that since we like, you know, since the door was still closed, we can probably just grab some javelins and put them here in case we need them. Yeah, if you want, there's uh, let's say there's four of them that aren't broken and you can get a hand of. Sure, sure. I mean, we 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 used it uh, a little bit, so there you go. we'll have them here. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, open the door. Let, let's just open the door. So you're doing yeah. a, a slow door open. <laughs> yes, yes, the dramatic one. Okay, so you get it to let's see where would it be? We could. Here's an idea. We we open the door. And then immediately close the door so all of the ready to tax slam into the back of the door. <laughs> I, don't think gonna, I think we're gonna wait to see a person to attack, not the uh, not the door itself. Uh, I'll say like I open it like this, kind of like this, if you can see that. Like uh, that kind of angle. Yeah. I don't know how does that reveal work. Yeah, that works. That I don't yeah. see much. That's reasonable. Okay. Uh, nothing is coming right at you. I mean, can't I see further if I just move oh, here? Oh, that was a shame. Uh, yes, you can see further if you move there. <laughs> uh, and you see, you see Gribbles. Ah, yes. You see I wanna Gribbles. Just, I want to just point out the look that Tulip is giving in her icon pointed at Chris at the moment is the perfect <laughs> <laughs> um and and this boy here peeking around is like ah jump <laughs> jump yes and he ran across you with one damage yes you do i take one you roll damage. The and do then he ducks back around the corner <laughs> well yes i suppose we do bitch come back here I, can i suggest we just don't clear ourselves off the initiative dragon next time well, the uh, initiative we does change the combat. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I forgot to... Oh, my God. Yeah, that, that is super annoying. Well, I have to click every single one of these fuckers. Yeah, no, I gotcha. It's just like... Bad. There. Uh, yeah, actually, oh, woo. oh, fuck, no, A I've done six. that wrong. Uh, hmm. I need to delete that one. It's quite sufficiently slowed by the Ray of Frost. <laughs> uh, uh, only on a crit, so it doesn't slow you. 
No, 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 but like that's why I have an initiative of six. Oh, yes. You feel the chill in your joints. You're getting old. Fucking yeah. Oh my god, oh my no, shitting one, Christ. no one rolled. What the fuck? Right, what let me. Mean? Well, I end. The highest roll is uh, 14, 14, and there's thousands of us below 10. Uh, yeah. I do not have the right number of creatures in this. Bear with one more. Uh, that guy. <laughs> None that of us can roll today for initiative, apparently. Or did I? No, that didn't work. Because I had the same guy it's... selected that I previously rolled. Okay. Yeah. You may have to add a. Oh, yeah, you got it now. I got it. I got it. I got it. I think. I, I think we're it. good. Okay. The door is half open. Um. Ooh, how do we do this? Okay. That guy's actually gonna delay a bit. Uh, tulip. Half open door. Uh, okay. Out of I know exactly what that means. <laughs> Alright, um, I think I want to look to go here, rage, and then hit this guy. Is that doable? Uh, have you got the movement? Five. Yes, you can 30, get right in front 30, of the 30, barrier yeah. and twat him one. Cool. And I am raging, so. Cool. So as you now as you we have vision. As you enter the room, uh, you can see that there are some hastily constructed barricades, and these guys are fucking ready for you. Uh, I can now actually reveal the whole thing, which the turn order for me is in the way of. Uh, I will do that. I hope. Yep. Yep. And uh, this guy here, the leader that you saw dart off before in the previous room, um, yells, "Hold them back!" And then just fucking books it down here. Bitch! He's changing what he's saying from last time. Um, right, I was gonna hit this guy with my sword, wasn't yes, I? Yes, you were. Fuck you. Uh, that is one of those boys. That will hit him. That will murder him in the teeth. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's ill. Amazing. Something, something bisected. Yes. <laughs> uh, right, now this guy is going to... Uh, oops. He's going to come out here from the shadows. <laughs> and mm. he's sad that Tulip has just bisected a friend. <laughs> um, well, now he has two friends. True. They're like true. worms. They're they still alive. Like worms. But his primary charge is to hold them back. So, hydraulic push. Oh, shit. Ooh, Does that that's crit? That's going to hit. I think that might crit at 27. Tulip's AC is 17, minus one for the rage. Yep. Uh, so, Tulip is pushed back 15 feet and knocked prone. Uh huh. So, to there and... Uh, prone. So I just can't get up. Uh, on so prone on you. So you are flat-footed, and you take minus two to attack rolls, and you can only crawl and stand as movements. Yeah, standing is a uh, one action on your well, turn. One action, you stand up, or one action to move ten feet. I'm fixing to crawl over to this wave collar. And get his number. His turn. B. Uh, so, what are these barriers like? They are about three foot high. They're made of something that looks vaguely stick-ish, vaguely coral-y, um, mm. lashed together. They look like they could survive a hit or two. Um, they're medium they're not cover, basically. Sure, they're not very tall. No, you can reach over them. I can bonk over them? You can bonk over them. Okay. Oh, they, they do have a bonus to AC for being behind them. Got it. But it is not insurmountable. Ah, this is annoying. I'm actually just out of range of the wave collar, so that's fine. I'm uh, going to stride up to here. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm going to bonk this fellow. This warrior, sure. Yes. Which I guess still makes sense because he hasn't acted yet, so. Uh let's do it. Uh this one. And this one. Oh, both misses, unfortunately. Okay. Uh um, the box in here. The first one goes then, straight up wide. The second one collides with the barrier. Sure. She's going to uh, click her tongue, and then she's going to uh, pull the staff back and hold it in a defensive position again. Another parry, sure. Yes. Okay. Uh, other wave caller guy. Uh, the one who sniped through the doorway. Um, actually, you can see more now that you've moved there. Uh, I'm just going to reveal that for ease sure. of revealing. Um, he is going to also try and hydraulic push, this time on B, as B is furthest forward. Okay. And probably miss. Mm -hmm. B gets she wet. She bisects the wave. Yes. But still gets wet. Still gets wet. Unfortunately. Uh, and then he... Is he going to move? Am I showing that to people? No, good. Uh, he's going to move to there. Zigger. Mm -hmm. All right, Ziggle moved up here, and I will use a acid splash on the wave caller that's closest. Sure. Well, it's not a one. It's not a one. Uh, it is still a miss, though. Uh, Excellent. Solely thanks to the barricade, it splashes on the front of it and starts eating. They both way take through. one. Um, they do both take one. Yes. Uh, so bear with. I forgot to set up the health on a per token basis. That guy gets that, and that guy gets uh. Fuck! What did he have? That. Cool. They have both taken one. Uh, right. The leader. He's somewhere down in the in the depths here, and you can hear some chanting and see an ominous glow. Oh no. But beyond that, you do not know what's happening with him. I don't know, he's summoning his mom. This warrior <laughs> is dead. This warrior is upset with B and throws a spear. Okay. He doesn't really have a capacity to keep you away other than stabbing you in the face. Sure. Uh, I didn't. I did. Uh, it does one. <laughs> that is fine. One is one. Uh, and then he will pull another spear and be ready for the next attack. The other warrior... Sorry? Is it too much to ask for these guys to have some supply chain issues? It is COVID <laughs> time, after all. I mean, what do you think they're doing down here other than preparing for an assault? <sighs> Knitting? Summoning them? Where are they going to get the wool? From Fish from, scales? From sheep fish. I don't know about all of this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so this guy in the back here, he was covering the other door, but it's clear that that isn't necessary now. Um, he's gonna double move to here and yeet at B as well, as B is nicely just poking themselves out there, and rolls the exact same hit and the exact same damage. They're twins. They are twins, yes. They were triplets, actually. Oh, we're oh, <laughs> Chris. Hey, Jay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fuck up. It's... Yeah, okay, sure. So I'll move forward quote, far enough that I can actually help. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that? That means he's disarmed, just so I remember. Because he threw his spear, but he didn't have enough actions to draw another one. Uh, Aha! Supply chain issues. Yes. <laughs> so I um, like you're the one who's getting hit. So I'll um, I'll give you the the effective guidance, the plus one, if it actually gets required. Uh, and then I'll yeet a rocket. Which one do you want me to yeet a rocket at? This one. It's caster. Yeah. No, it would be good, good. Yeah. That, I assume that hit. That'll hit, yeah. That's good enough. At the caster. Yeah. For nine. Wow. Yeah. Right Almost max damages. He looks a little disoriented by that. 
And that is all I can do. Tulip. You How far am I allowed to crawl while while garbling? Uh, I would probably suggest wait, getting on your feet first. Probably just getting up is a good idea. Yes. It would be faster. Okay. I I guess I take an action to stand up then. Okay. Yep. Let me find out where that thing is and remove it from you. There we go. And can I do anything else? Do I still have two more actions? You still have two or... more, yeah. This isn't Div. Can I get here? I kind of want to see if I can get here. If we're counting hmm? the diagonals, that's three, four, five, and you have a movement of 25, so not quite. Um, okay. 5, 10, 15, 25, yeah, no. I guess I'll just like... Can't you do that? Yes. Oh actually, yeah, you can. That, that will be yeah. adjacent. Oh yeah, alright. Nice over the And I guess I'll twat a guy with my sword. Yep. Hit him with your bearded oh, sword. Oh it cleaves into the fucking barrier and probably just really fucks it up. Yeah. Uh, but it does not hit our boy, I'm afraid. So I can't do anything else. I'm afraid not. Tulip has water in her eyes. Oh yeah. Uh, this wave, <laughs> this wave caller up front is not happy with the state of things. Um, he's he's mostly going to try and push probably Tulip away again because Angry Girl with sword. Uh, Low miss. More water in more eyes. <laughs> it is sadness for the wave caller. I mean, he does know Tulip's just going to be there ringing with her and sword. He's gonna... <laughs> Actually, no, he's going to go down here because he needs to protect you the boy. bitch! I spared your boyfriend for this! Get back here! B. Okay, let me do some finagling for distance. B, I spared his boyfriend. <laughs> uh, okay, not too far. Uh, so, we talked about movement for... Uh, Diagonals. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you ruling reach for diagonals? Um. Oh God, I don't know. You've got reach. Yeah. Reach diagonals. <laughs> Let's see if the actual I mean, system has any wisdom on this. I mean, technically, I could go here, and that would only be one diagonal I could reach. But wow, that text size is far too big. Diagonal. Reaches how far you can physically reach with your body, blah, 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 blah. Unlike measuring most distances, 10-foot reach can reach two squares two squares diagonally. Reach greater thought, okay. than 10 feet is measured normally. Got it. Okay. Let's do it then. Uh, B is going to run down to here. 20 feet of movement. Yep. And uh, swing. Uh, do a wide swing. Uh towards her left and then or she's gonna swing yeah towards her right first so the the unarmed guy i'm not i'm not taking away his arms no that's that's, his... no, that's tulip's job yeah that's tulip's job <laughs> uh, uh yeah that'll hit that guy for sure okay so then uh, i will uh bonk him again try to hit his head against the wall yeah, that'll do it. He is he, he he's bleeding from the facial orifices after that one. <laughs> you literally curb stomped him. You basically did. Uh, do you have another action still? I do. That was I don't a think I, Yeah, I don't think I wanna try the guy on top at a minus ten. Um, is Fire of Blows just like a once per turn you get to do it thing? Or? Yeah. Yeah. You once get, per turn I get to Act two strikes into one action. You still get the stacking multiple attack penalty. Yeah. But yeah. You, you do get the action economy out of it, which is very nice. Yeah. So either I parry again or I chase after this guy towards where the boss went, but I don't know that in character necessarily. Oh, actually, no, we saw the glow, I think. Yeah, we no, saw you, him leave. You saw him fuck off down that way. Hmm. Either that or he went through one of these walls into nothingness. <laughs> But it's probably uh, more like... Oh, you, you can see all the way down there now, can't you? Because you've moved yeah, to yeah. there. I should reveal probably. stuff. That'd uh, be great. There you go. Uh oh. What kind, what kind of fanciness is happening down there, if anything? Uh, much glowing and chanting. Much glowing and chanting, okay. 
Um, on a scale of panicked to triumphant, uh, where does he sit right now, if I can see it? <laughs> uh, he is sounding pretty panicked, but resolved. Okay, got it. So like, not, not quite yet. Probably. Not quite yet, no. He, he needs to get this shit done, but he's confident he can do it. Sure. Uh, so, B is going to uh, walk, run down this way mm -hmm. with another stride. Uh, and that's your turn. Kind of, yep, that's it. Cool. We have our wave callers. Uh, how do you? Um, sorry, just so to interrupt. How do you get attacks of opportunity? Is it's it like a, a thing that you have? Like oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, you are incurring on the sanctum, and that is not permitted. Okay. Uh, he's gonna take a move to there so he can see and hydraulic push you. 16 to hit. Does not hit. Does not hit? You got a 17 oh, AC? I have 18 AC, actually. Oh, shit, son. How do you have 18 AC? Jesus. That's actually, fun. no, I could believe it. I've got 14. How do you have an 18 AC, actually? Three decks, three proficiency. Yep. And then uh, there was one more thing, I think. Uh, let's see. This was calculated by Path Builder. Yeah. Classic. Armor? No. Uh, I have proficiency. I have expert unarmored. You have expert unarmored proficiency. That adds up. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, yeah, you get wet. Uh, you don't go anywhere, but you definitely get new. wet. <laughs> Uh, he's not happy about this. Ziga. Who is muted, I'm guessing, and dealing with child, most likely. Oh, yes, I am muted. Yep. Cool. Sorry. It's fine. I have to keep it muted because it, sound is very variable in this room. Sure. <laughs> um, let's see. 5, 15, 20, 25. I can move to here, and I guess I can hit the other wave caller. Uh, the one in the back there. Yeah. Yeah. That all miss. Yep, that's well, all I've done this entire one. combat. You are having real bad luck with these attack rolls, I've got to say. These are unfortunate. He does take one, though. That is true. Uh, duh of duh. So the leader, he continues his chanting, and he looks back at you, and he's like, shit, they're coming. <laughs> shit, they've hurt my boys. Um, and he is going to, let me just double check this. If he would just tell his man to stand fucking down. Jesus. Um, he is going to do that on a two action and also probably have to move but that's fine he's still holding his pistol um mm -hmm. he's gonna two action heal our boy in the hallway there not me uh no not you <laughs> actually i yeah, would like to speak to <laughs> restores 13 yes and he sneers at B. Yeah. Oh, you'll get word what's coming to you. Oh. <laughs> just, just walk up and be like, bonk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the warrior is in mortal combat with Tulip. Mm -hmm. uh, and attempts to spear Tulip and misses. And then attempts to spear Tulip again. And really misses. He's got water in his eyes too. And then attempts to spear Tulip again and still misses. Uh, he's having a really bad day. He may or may not have depth perception issues. Yeah. He's just so flustered because he thinks Tulip's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well then. I want to leave that one alive. Chris. That's a fetish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a rock at this lad. <laughs> at Tulip's boyfriend. Stop. Yeah. 
That is just oh idea. my that have, god! That should have plus seven, so it should be a twenty-seven. Yeah, well, it hits. It's a crit. That's fine. How so? How does critting work with a spell? Uh, if it oh, does, I deal double damage. If it doesn't say, it's mostly just double damage. It just says I deal double damage. So yeah. I'll do one d one. Do I roll two d six or do I roll uh, one one d six plus in doubled? Jesus. So one d six plus four. So ten. Uh yeah no Tulip's boyfriend is dead. It was a whirlwind, uh whirlwind romance. Chris doesn't take kindly to boyfriend. No. <laughs> Chris Chris moves closer to what actually needs to have things done. That's it. Sure. Okay. Tulip. Oh, Fresh yeah. from the death of your boyfriend. Yeah yeah. <laughs> um, can I get over to this guy? Is that doable? Uh, you'll have Five, to move ten, around 15, the You can just move to here. You can just you move can't, to here. You can't diagonal the barrier because the barrier. What barrier? Is the the. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Five. And I'm huge. <laughs> Twenty. Five. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can't actually reach it. Yeah. You mm -hmm. could move twice and swing once. Yeah, yeah that will be still an option. Yeah. Fuck this guy. You're my boyfriend now. Let's fucking go. <laughs> is this what you? <laughs> Of does to, to her boyfriend. That'll miss. Meese. God damn. Welcome to low level D and D, yeah. where you can't fucking Wait, hit an attack. Am I supposed to be doing bastard sword two handed or just bastard sword? Two handed. Two handed. But it's only a damage modifier, not a hit modifier, so okay. that would still miss. I, I guess I flirt with this guy by almost decapitating him, but not quite. Yeah, that's Are, you familiar, with, are you familiar with the Cabadon? Oh my god. <laughs> You do it with your with your bastard sword. No. <laughs> Wait, how much bigger than this guy am I? How big are these dudes? They're normal human size. Oh no. Tulip is tall. So. Tulip is tall, but not you're not like a giant to them. That would be hilarious, though. It would. You, be. you, shove, you shove the bastard sword into the wall above uh, their right shoulder. If they're looking at you. Uh, they can all. Okay, I covered on the fish guy. And then my turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, Yugi boy. A wave caller. Again, does not like B being there. And we'll try and get B out. And we'll hit. Oh, that, that's, that's going to hit. And B is shifted uh, back two squares. Okay. And is slowed one. Damn it. Okay, got it. What does that actually do? Uh, slowed. Uh, you when you regain your actions, reduce the number of actions you regain by your slowed amount. So B can only take two actions next turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> speaking of, just walk off and hit it. <laughs> but no, I I lost that. Uh oh no, I don't lose. I don't lose a uh, movement speed. Okay. No. No. Uh, B. Uh, covers a bit of the the blast with a hand, mm -hmm. um, so get, you know, so it gets pushed back. Uh, but she does manage to keep most of the water out of her eyes, and she just pushes on forward. That's twenty five. Mm -hmm. Twenty five one. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, I can't do it. No, nope, that's point. it. Gg. Fuck. Okay, I guess I have to stay and smack with. Okay. Uh, and she is going to uh, let's see. Flurry the boy, I'm guessing. Yeah, I was I was going to trip him and then flurry, but oh, I lost. Can't do it anymore. Yeah. Uh, that will hit for both of them. Uh, oh, both. Uh, no, the second one only. The first one is sad. She swings wildly. Is, is doo doo. Yeah. yeah. Um. Cool. He he takes a a staff to the noggin. And they go, ah, fuck you. Wow, he cool. didn't instantly die. No. <laughs> he is the boss. He has a slightly tougher skull than the others. Uh, but unfortunately for him, the staff of Noggin. Noggin uh, Bonkin. Noggin. Yes. Yeah, the bonk continues. The Noggin Bonker. The Noggin Bonker. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> the, <laughs> the uh, second wave caller uh, is now engaged in combat with Tulip and doesn't like this. Uh, step number one is to get Tulip the fuck away. And it manages to do that, I think. 
<laughs> go away. Yep. Uh, and then he runs out of here. Because retreat, basically. Jesus. I mean, all all of their shitters are dead. So. Yeah. Uh, Ziggur. Oh, man. I keep trying to use something other than Acid Splash, but, like, the spell that I chose is Pummeling Rubble, 15-foot cone, and they're, like, always inconveniently placed for a 15-foot cone. Um, so I guess I'll move to here and just hit the guy. Which one of these two, that, the one that just got healed and the one that's running away currently? Looks like it's more injured. The one that's running away currently. Okay. Then that's who I'll try to hit. Yeah. Oh, I can hit this time, you finally, for the first time in <laughs> six rounds, I think. And do Animal almost damage. minimum damage. Cool. Now our leader You've boy. had some so bad attack rolls. Our leader boy is not a fan of being hit like this. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> he will move back to his altar. He will pick up the crystal and he will try and hydraulic push B. By the power of Grayskull! Uh, so, yes. Uh, B takes 14 damage. Wait, that okay. does damage now? Uh, the leader's one does, yes. Hmm. Oh, that's a fuck of a lot of damage. Holy balls. 14 damage. Uh, I am actually exactly at 14. That's a shame. And oh, is shit. pushed back 10. Uh, uh, and is unconscious. And is currently unconscious. No. <laughs> Tiny sister. Huh. Please call me Tiny Onesama instead. Uh, I like the idea that she briefly becomes not unconscious, says that, and then falls unconscious again. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... Listen to me, you big twat, alright? Shut up. When you, are a, when you are reduced to zero hit points, you are knocked out with the following effects. You immediately move your initiative position to directly before the turn in which you were reduced to t uh, zero HP, which would be there. You gain the dying one condition. Uh, uh -huh. If the effect that knocks you out was a critical success from the attacker, which it was not, uh, you gain dying two instead. If you have the wounded condition, which you don't, uh, if damage came from a non-lethal, you don't gain dying. So you are currently dying. Mm -hmm. uh, at the start of your turn, you must attempt a recovery check to determine whether you're getting better or worse. Uh, if you take damage, it increases your dying condition by one or two if it's a crit. You need to succeed a recovery check. Uh, you remain unconscious but can wake up as described somewhere. Uh, if you gain health, you lose the dying condition. Anytime you would lose the dying condition, you gain the wounded condition. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> so yes, you will need to make a recovery check uh, on your... So immediately before, should you be there actually? Where should you be? Fuck. Uh, I'm not sure how relevant it really is. Depends on where the water came from. Um, I was assuming it probably came from like this rock, maybe. Yes. Which would probably knock me diagonally instead. Uh, if it matters. So no, like... I meant the initiative. Immediately move oh, oh. your initiative position to directly before the turn in which you were reduced to zero HP. So yes, you should be at the bottom of the initiative because Chris yeah. comes next. Yes, okay. So you are down, and the Sea Folk mm. leader gives a cackle and gets back to chanting over his crystal. Chris. Well, shit. First time he's seen B fall over like properly in probably like years. Mm. Uh, that was a hmm. big old hit. I can't really do anything to the Lado that knocked her out, but the, he seems to be rather, rather distracted now, so I guess I'm going to shoot this guy for a start, because seemingly my best option is to just keep throwing rocks at people. Oh, fuck. You hit 
F. Yeah, that'll hit. I assume that'll hit. Chris, at this point, is just a fucking sniper. Oh my god, I can't roll better than a one. This was at the uh, right hand guy. Mm hmm. Cool. Uh, he's bleeding from the body somewhere. Um, but he's uh, still and up. then I'll, I'll fortune B, and then that will be that, really. <laughs> sure. Fortunate clarification that he's bleeding from the body as opposed to, like, bleeding yeah. from the ethereal gases around him. <laughs> well, I mean, he could be. You, know, you don't know. Like, he'd like to go up and try and help V medically, but he'll just get pushed back by the two fuckos, mm -hmm. so... We've got to clear out the opponents first. Tulip, okay. you've just seen B go down and you're still raging for, like, five more turns. Yay! I'm going to move here and try to bisect this guy. Two-hand that think. boy. Yeah. Fuck you, I'm I guess. Back in the oh, oh my Holy god! <laughs> Tulip is powered by the death of her adopted sister, and this man is in half. <laughs> Shambles. This man is like <laughs> obliterated. Oh my god! <laughs> the highest damage we've seen, and it's probably be the highest we see for a while. Uh, oh did that even include your raging bonus? No, no, it didn't. So that should be an additional plus four, I think. Yeah. Is this double by the crit? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thirty-four. You. Thirty-four damage. Jesus Christ. Um. I, should I move closer to this guy, or should I go down and see if I can protect E? Should we clear the, these lads out and then go deal with the other guy? So if you want to, like, because I think you could go like here, five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, yeah. So you you could you could go here, and that way you've both moved closer to the guy you want to twat and moved closer to the other guy you want to twat. Um. Yeah, that's fair enough. I can't hit him again, so I'll just go over here and stand menacingly. Ah, cool. Except for having cleaved this man's brother, Finn Twain. <laughs> you really fucking did, Jesus Christ. I'm uh, raging! You are raging. You're definitely raging. Um, he, would be very, he would be very proud of the bisecting business, if you're yes. awake. I'm looking directly into the leader's eyes while I stand there too, just coated in Murbug like we're holding buddy. Uh, <laughs> Murboy does not like you being there. Uh Murboy is going to do what he does best and I Oh my fucking you. god. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's annoying, isn't it? Uh <laughs> Now, your AC is normally 17. It's reduced by rage, but that's still not a crit, so that's good. Uh, he's going to push you to there and slow you. Um, and then he's going to, like, fucking shimmy on down this way, because, Jesus, he's getting a bit surrounded. Bitch. Zigger. <laughs> <laughs> Come back and fight. Zigga moves up there and tries to acid splash again. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh wow. it's the crit! Oh. Finally did something. Um. Oh no, it just does one one persistent acid damage on top of the double damage. So. Oh. I mean, his eyeballs are melting slowly though. So I guess two d six plus two. Yes. Wow. Wow. This is incredible. I'm really feeling the power of the sorcerer. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. What I could do. Have you, have, you used, have you used an actual spell slot yet? No, because all my spells suck for these situations. I have grease, which I think is a pretty useful spell. I, I like it. Um, and then I have jump because I thought it was thematically un appropriate for the character. And then I have uh, uh, Pummeling rubble, which is a cone, and none of the enemies ever cone together, so <laughs> there's no usefulness. It is a very big facility, to be fair. Uh, B, you need to make your recovery roll. Oh, All right, but, uh, I actually looked around a little bit. What is the recovery roll? So this is, is a, a flat uh, DC or flat check, so just D twenty. Uh, DC is equal to ten okay. plus your current dying value. So eleven. So eleven. 16. Your dying value is reduced by 1. So you go to and 0. I, okay. You are you are just unconscious, I believe. 
Yeah. Uh, he, he no, also I, wounded. I and believe. wounded, yes. Um, if you lose the dying condition, you become wounded one. The wounded condition ends if someone successfully restores hit points to you in some way. Uh, and also you mm. are unconscious. You can't act. Natives to AC. Blinded, flat-footed, prone. Dropped your items. Mm. Blah, yada, yada, bad yada. Stuff, bad, bad stuff, bad yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will remove your mark. From... Actually, I'll leave that on to say you're wounded now. That's fine. Sure, sure. Daunting Amazing. boy. The sea, fo sea folk leader turns to you with a grin on his face. He has stopped chanting. Oh, no. Oh. He throws the crystal to the ground where it shatters, and as it does so, the back wall here collapses inwards. Oh. Are we about to see a goat with many, many mouths? Is that about on brand? Um, no, just a lot oh. of water. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah. So where's my where's my drawing button? Uh, so I don't know about the rest. The water crashes forward, and the leader disappears as it washes over him. Uh, I do, however, actually still need him in initiative, so it's rather awkward that I deleted him. But whatever, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, what you can do is you can put him in the DM layer instead. That'll keep yeah. him on the initiative for yourself, but not for anyone. That that probably would have been the else. smart move, yeah. But I haven't, so that's fine. Um, so yes, that is. Oh boy, it's coming, Chris. Uh, do I still have the ability to like? Try and make. I, I I confess I don't think any of us have any way of restoring health, uh, but I think had we known how the mechanics were a little better, I would at least have some on me. So can I make the medicine check as I previously tried to for B uh, for uh, Tulip earlier yes, to try and you'll restore need some health? To get to her. That's two actions. Um, medicine. Or you could use the uh, the quote unquote healing potions that we have. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah. Is someone in particular in possession of those? I'm sorry? Is someone in particular in possession of those uh, potions? You or? are, I believe. Me? Mm hmm. You pick them up. Oh. Well, beans. Uh, yes, you can, you can attempt that. So I if if I'd known I needed because I was intending to be like crafter slash medicine y person mm -hmm. for the party. So if I knew how it worked, I'd have medical tools or whatever yeah. the fuck. I'll I'll sort that out for the next one. That's fine. As of when we're not in here. I what can't roll to... medicine. Yeah. I rolled a six. I don't think any of us can roll medicine. I'm like I'm not doing it seriously, but just oh, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. No, no, no. Well she's immune I, I to have... it, I'm afraid. <laughs> You, yeah, <laughs> I have a better modifier than you, but only by one. What we need Tulip to do is to run forward and grapple the water and hold it back. Mm. Bisect the water. Bisect the okay, water. Why, 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 what we actually need Tulip to do is walk up and twat this guy because he's still alive. Uh, that guy is looking at the wall of water and is not happy about proceedings. Uh oh. For what it's oh. worth. But well, I mean, if not, if, right, so since I didn't manage to get. Uh, be actually doing anything? Is the water coming towards us or what? Yes, it will. Um, it will progress at a point in the initiative. I might suggest then that B just like picks. They're not B. Sorry, Tulip picks B up, and then we just like get out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the move. I I'm I want I'm curious why this guy is like pissed off about it though. Like he can breathe underwater. He, he just mad he that he ran away. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, Tulip will pick B up and then start moving this way, I guess. I think okay. I can get about here-ish uh, or so. It's, I think, one action to pick a thing up. B is currently a thing. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and then yes, you have your that will not encumber you because you have eighteen strength. Uh, <laughs> so you can you can move freely with both your hands full, but freely nonetheless. Can I grab Zika too, though, or just that... everybody? <laughs> 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 I think I think at some point it becomes less about weight and more about maneuverability. So probably no. <laughs> Aw, fine. We'll go here with B. Sure. And then my turn. Okay. Uh, the Sea Folk Wave Caller shoots you all one last real dirty look before you he is it. enveloped by the water. Um, you started it. And it is it is coming at a pace. So the water flows to there. Oh shit. Oh. However, between those two lines is rough terrain. Beyond the one into the into the actual um ritual area, that is that that, that that is enveloped in water and probably drowning. Does it have multiple initiatives per round? Because um, Ziga hasn't moved since the first time it showed up. No, it, but it moved before he did. That's all. Yeah. So shouldn't I go before it and I'd be able to get out of it? Uh, it will now be on regular initiative. Basically. Now that it's already caught me in rough terrain. Yes. Yes. I see. Okay. Things are going great for me today. <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess I'll waddle through the water. <laughs> So you've well, got three fine. actions, so that's one, and then you get to here, I think, on another one, and then you get to, like, here, or, like, here. I think you can basically get to here. Yeah, but it's gonna go... Okay. Yeah, yeah but that that doesn't mean stay there. What? Okay. Alright. Uh, B then can't move, astonishingly. Uh, yes, B cannot move as B is currently unconscious. Chris? That's me. So this is like, what? 10, 20, right? Like mm -hmm. that? If you want uh, to, am I if right you, in if assuming you, you that I can use... go through that square? Which square? Sorry? Can I go through this square that has... Oh area. yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you if you do two strides for a total of fifty movement, then just do fifty movement, not um twenty five twenty five, because otherwise you're gonna get fucked by the rough terrain. If you see oh, is that how that works? I'm gonna say that's how that works because that's how I've balanced this. I mean, I, I'm doing three strides this turn. So sure. Like, so I you have, have you have seventy five. Regardless, you have seventy five foot of movement, and you've used twenty of it so far. 30, 5, 45, 55, 60, 65, uh, 75? No, 70. Yeah, 75. Yeah. Cool. I guess that's all I can do. Chill it. Okay. Because um... we can't go, we can't diagonal around the barrier. No, um, I guess we keep on moving with B. <laughs> I think that should be okay. Um, That's, I think, one movement? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, yep. That's one that. movement. Okay. And yep. I'm going to do a second one to try and jimmy the door open. Uh, the, the door, door is does open. not need jimmying, but it is... Currently closed because they close and arrested. Uh, they rest in a closed position, so it is an action to open it. Uh, okay, then I shall do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Move and open. Yeah. Yeah. Move, sure. move open. Cool. Uh, and the then water, it's bigger. The water continues. Oh no, bigger is in such a bad place. Seriously, I I don't know how it skipped ahead of me, but I was gonna be able to get out of the way from it, and then and then it jumped ahead of the initiative, and Drawing. now I'm fucked. <laughs> You're not fucked. <laughs> it's not great. It's faster I'm not than me. Lie, but... Okay, those are the new boundaries. There's also another one on the other side, but you're not going that way, so I'm not going to bother with it. Okay, can since I haven't been able to use a first level spell at all this entire game, uh, can I use jump to jump over the barrier? 
What no, the, does the, jump the, do? The, you jump, you fit, jump 30 the... feet in any direction without touching the ground. Yeah, you, yeah, can, you can just leave the water. You can just jump to just below Chris. 5, 10, 15, 20, Wait, 20. Yeah, you can jump to oh, here. Okay. okay. Well, how many how many actions is that? One. One? Okay. Well, to use to use the spell, it, the... It, it, if you look on Path Builder, it will have like arrows, and the arrows indicate how many actions it uses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's one. So then there's one, and then I can I still have two move actions. Correct. Mm -hmm. Tulip has okay. opened that door. All right. Well, then I will go to one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that doesn't give me enough actions to do the opening the door, but I'll move up to the door. Cool. B is dead. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Move to this, open the door, because I can't. I have to open the door. Yep. So there you go. Okay. Tulip. Oh boy. Um. We. <laughs> Yeah. Uh no, we we carry on. Keep we running. Carry on. Yeah. Also, Tom, I have to, I have to, I have to get something in here. Yeah. You, I want you to know that had we had an additional turn of enchanting, I would have been like deja vu, and then he just has to stand there and chant yeah. for two more rounds. I know. <laughs> uh, can I make a out of character uh, strategy thing, or would you rather I not because B is unconscious? Uh, uh, that depends on whether it's from B's perspective or not. It is not. I think it might be clear to other people. Sure, go for it. Um, bulkhead doors, they're typically supposed to be waterproof. Yeah. So yeah, but it closes speak? behind us. If we aren't right. holding it open, it closes. We should be right. free. If, I don't know how fast it closes. If it's not already closed, it might be useful to close it. I mean, we know it's a, and we know it's at least like less than two rounds because the this guy fleed through it earlier and it, it had already closed again by the time we went to pursue him. Mm. Fair enough. So more than likely, it's the sing like as soon as it's not being held, it's closed essentially. Mm -hmm. Tulip has made, I think, one movement. Yeah. Yes. Um. Was this door already opened or no? Yes. Yeah, I opened it. Okay, um, then we will, I guess, yeet ourselves around the corner. <laughs> still with B, make sure yep. the room is clear, except for this one guy that's that, still alive. <laughs> that one guy, from a brief glance, does still appear to be alive, for now. Um, <laughs> I, I, mean, I guess can he's I... going to be in underwater in a minute. Can I ask a, a, a question... Uh, and I'm not trying to be an ass here. Yeah. From, so, is the water moving at a steady pace? It is gaining on us at a steady pace. Yes, currently. Give it. Then can we just not assume that we will get to the door? Um. Yes, you can. We can. Because otherwise, we're going. We're, we're literally our turns are going to be move, move. Yeah. Sure. Move, 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 etc. Et like I, I'm not trying to be an ass about it, but it. it, it I don't know. Like. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Am I, I? Yeah, and unless there's a surprise happening, it's just like. Uh, uh, you know what? Give me a couple more rounds. Sure. It's otherwise it's just us going through initiative, saying I move, I move, I move, mm -hmm. I move, I move, I move, etc. Yes. Um. So you you don't see it come through the door behind you. Um. Mm -hmm. You can presume it crashes into it. You can hear that much, but it doesn't immediately come through the door behind. <laughs> Sure. Okay, the door is currently open because Chris is holding it open, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I will move to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I can't actually do that, so there. My movement isn't enough to do two diagonal movements, or two, two ten-foot diagonal movements. Mm -hmm. um, so anything, do I see anything in the room from here? Nope, looks clear. Okay, one, two, three... Four, five, and lastly, one, two, three, four, five. Cool. No B, Chris. Roughly the same. Uh, yeah. Guessing. So five. Well, it actually I can go like five, 
10, 15, 25, no, 20, 25, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. Uh, it's your look. Is it reasonable to assume that these guys can breathe underwater? For Tulip, I mean, they, yes. Um, they have gills, don't they? Well, I mean, you haven't done a biopsy, but it, it would be reasonable <laughs> to assume that fishy people probably can breathe underwater, yes. Because I want to do a dumb both in and out of character and pick this guy up and carry him out with us. He'll probably be fine. Can I, is that something I can do? You can try. Okay, I'm <laughs> going to move here, pick up this dingus, hold him on the other shoulder, and then that's one, two, and then I guess. I guess I can move about here ish, so I'm going to do that. Yeah. Uh, so both of your arms are full. You cannot interact with the doors. That uh, is fine. But that's fine. Okay, so. From behind you, you hear crumbling and rumbling continue. And, in fact, the bulkheads are, do seem to hold, but the walls are collapsing. Chris is getting really close to telekinetic projectiling the, fucker, the other fucker that you picked up so that you'll be quicker. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the new head of the water is there, but you can reliably keep ahead of it if you want to skip forward all the way to the landing zone. I'm fine with that. I, like yeah. I say, otherwise it's just yeah, us it's, moving it's over and over again. Good. Okay, so let me. Oh, continue. I was under the impression we would get like flanked from any enemies that would have been over here that come to fight us like, here and like raise the stakes. Well, they're That's currently what I was expecting was going to happen. They're currently <laughs> rather concerned with drowning, potentially. Oh, they do have to drown. Well, <laughs> they can't maybe. Drown. You. Bitch. <laughs> so they reach you reach here and the water is fucking close behind you. Uh let's call it the, oh that's green again. Why does it not save your fucking colour? <laughs> right, that's it there. Like color. And like then green. we've got there and there are both fucking deep deep water. Yeah. You're gonna have so, to make a swim for it. I guess I don't really understand how this works. Do we just approach the walls of the water here on this, like, anywhere and swim up? I guess I just really don't understand what's going on here. That's probably accurate. Tom? It is not my is place to give you the necessary answers to this environmental puzzle. <laughs> I mean, alternatively, there's no re- like, if it's literally a matter of us uh, reaching a high enough distance up to get to the other side of the portal, we could just wait for the water to come up and bring us up to the top, and then we go through the other side of the portal. Right? He literally said earlier in the session we can just, like, go into it and swim up, I think, so that's not unreasonable. Um, I think both make sense. Like, either which way Tulip is probably going to charge in there and just start swimming up. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess there's no reason to wait for the water to come if we have the option to swim up, because if the water somehow cancels the portal or something like that, we want to have a backup plan, <laughs> you know? Like, So I guess Ziggle will just walk into this water if he's able to. Yeah, there's nothing stopping you. Okay. I mean, it's, I'll it's swim up. For your, yeah. your cat folk sensibilities, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but you can do it. No. Yeah. Cool. Okay, um, cool. Yep. And also that. Okay, let me just check something real quick. It is weird to be running away from water so that we don't drown and we have to escape it by jumping into the water and swimming. <laughs> you know, like what happens mm. when this when this water collides with this water? Like what happens? <laughs> uh, none of you have a negative constitution modifier, do you? No. No. Okay, and then we have. Yeah. This uh okay, so can you all please make me 
athletics checks. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, poop. Because you do need to swim. Well, <laughs> live and die by the die this time, quite literally. Excellent. Hey! hey! No modifier, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> No proficiency, no modifier. I'm an athlete. Uh, right. Um... Oh my god, what is that role, man? Ziggur might need some help. I I just, like, fucking suck at everything. <laughs> Literally everything I suck at. Okay. Um... I can't... I'm the primary damage caster of the group that can't deal damage. I, I can't hit anything. I can't roll anything. I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Tulip's just gonna grab her, her Tulip her will have right. to drop one of the bodies they are currently carrying to help Ziggur Chris Difficult Chris. decision <laughs> Difficult decision no, 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 no. I can't take whatever negative there is I don't want to roll athletics again until we're out of the sea I don't think you understand I don't want to roll that die again because it could be a 2 <laughs> I don't want to let go of anybody though Stupid merfolk die. No. <laughs> yes. Ten. Oh, nine. No. Eight. Oh, fine. Seven, I put your guy down and grab Ziga. Six. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Could Tulip and Chris and uh, roll roll athletics again and Ziga again, but not to swim, just to help not drag everyone down. Cool. Why, why am I rolling again? Well, because you have to swim more than 10 feet. Oh, is, is it really a per 10 foot check? I'm afraid so, yeah, unless you crit it, you only move 10 No, feet. I suck, lol. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to roll the stupid die again. <laughs> well, the good news is that you're not really even close to drowning yet, um, but you aren't making a whole lot of progress. No. Uh, could I have one more from you, please? As the water oh crashes my... into the air bubble and almost obliterates it. Oh, I got a ten! Yay! Can I roll I again? I have no idea. Yes. What? what? I really don't want to leave this guy behind. <laughs> okay, Ziggy. Ziggy doesn't <laughs> help, but that's fine. Tulip's got it. It's fine. Okay. So you you manage to get to that magical threshold, and ten. find and find yourself. <laughs> pressed up against the top of some stone and there is light coming in from a square not too far away from you that must be the hatch can we swim over and punch it open it's already open oh, hence there's light coming up. through oh well I want to punch it more open that's fine <laughs> you can punch through the surface of the water cool uh, and indeed you find yourself bedraggled and very much just so wet. Uh, in fact, can I give you a status <laughs> of wet? <laughs> oh no. There isn't really a wet one. You're wet. We'll just say you're wet. Uh, and also, you have one of these guys. But, oh, was it? No, it was a magic guy, wasn't it? it was, yeah, it was a wave it caller. It was a wave caller. Uh, but he's, oh fuck. Very, <laughs> very unconscious still. Cool. I tie him up. Sick of the shit. Chris like coughs and splutters all over the floor. Like a Tabit is just like so angry right now. <laughs> like it's not even she's not even speaking anymore. It's just incoherent yowling. <laughs> He's trying to calm down his cat and like dry her off. And he like not you know uh, trying to like drip all over the floor and stop being completely bedraggled. <laughs> Turns around, looks and goes, You seriously still have to Merfolk, dude. <laughs> yes. Why do we yelling. still have him? He's gonna try and stab you when he wakes up. Why do there. you always yell at me? God. Because you pick up friggin' merfolk people. You're mean. Everybody at the orphanage said you were mean, and I shouldn't have listened to them because you're mean. It's a what do you mean? What do you mean I'm mean? He <laughs> tried to kill us the moment he saw us. It's a never before seen species. Are you stupid? Are you high? Uh, we whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, hang on a minute. Whoa, whoa. If you meet a species and all they do is try and kill you, why do you want to help them? Because this is a pretty. 
brand new thing. If it was like ants, that I would let the ants drown because they're fucking ants. This is not an ant. This is a fish man. This is important science, Christopher. <laughs> no, you don't care because it's science. I do too. You, you have no interest in science, Tulip. I tried to teach you science. You told me to fuck off. I told you to <laughs> fuck off because you kept calling me stupid. I did not. It's Absolutely. almost that, an anagram he genuinely, of he, genu he genuinely wouldn't have done that, so that's not fair. But like, it's like, no, I didn't call you stupid. Oh. Why are we carrying this thing around? Because he's hurt, and like maybe he'll like be able to tell us what the fuck we just saw down there. I can't be bothered. He's just like wringing out his hair and his hat. Like he's taking his hat off. With his hair's all just, like wringing out the hat, like some sort of weird flannel. It's like, oh my, I can't be bothered with this. Either way. Philip throws him back in the water. <laughs> oh my um, god. Okay, opposed athletics. Oh no. Wait for both of us. Yeah, yeah, both athletics. <laughs> That's beatable. That's beatable. You have a 50 50 roughly. No, uh, no. Chris is back in the water. Uh, however, <laughs> when Chris manages to get their bearings, having been dunked back in, uh, he realizes that he can see walls and a floor down there now. Oh. Uh, and it looks very much like the floor above, but underwater. Hey, we did it. <laughs> something. We did something. We've got a mer guy. Chris angrily climbs out of the fucking <laughs> out of the water. Oh come on, Chris! You know I love you. You literally could have he just gives, banished he, him he back gives, to the realm of the merfolk, but sure. He gives you he gives you an absolutely foul look, <laughs> and you can see like. Uh, I, I'm trying to decide whether in character he just kills it. No! I will be so cross with you. He's I, really I not very happy really. with you right now. <laughs> He's really not very... You could have just killed him. You realise that? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, 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 he fucks off. He's like, I'm... He like, comes very close to murdering your new best friend. And is like, no, don't hurt fine. Me. And then just leaves. No. Just like, goodbye. Oh no. Into party <laughs> conflict. You are now aware that the Merfolk is actually the main character of a new East Kai anime coming out this uh, this spring. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Well. I'm gonna name, I'm gonna name him Paul. <laughs> oh, fucking Paul has a name. <laughs> all you hear all you hear as he leaves is the receding unhappy yowling of Tabit. <laughs> I am sorry. Can you see the name? Tom was, if Tom, if Tom was <laughs> no. no, if Tom was less kind there, I genuinely could have ended up back in there and drowned. I don't <laughs> think he would have let that happen. I don't know how it worked. I was half expecting the water to follow us up. That would have been interesting, terrifying, but interesting. Wow! You can breathe for like. Six rounds, you probably. Get, you get five rounds plus your con mod before you start drinking. Yeah. So you're probably good. I was like, you know what? I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn the entire combat, but luckily, I trained athletics. I could get this, and then I bombed Beast it. it three times, yeah. <laughs> this is how I felt playing PTU. Like, every world was like, oh, I have these awesome Pokemon. I just, like, I, I don't understand the point of being uh, primal when you're like limited to all these like only damage spells and then you're in a party with somebody that can do 40 damage with a sh melee strike and you're just like i could do a d6 plus one you are familiar <laughs> with the wizard quadratic martial linear right but that right? quadratic the qu this... quadratic wizards start shit at damage and by about level 7, they're equal, and by level 20, they will blow any martial character out of the water before they've even realized there's a fight happening. It's Did not it even just like that. that so... in Pathfinder, though? It's not I, mean, I, knew it was, I knew it was like that in 3.5, but it looks like they kind yes, of... Yes, well, this, this, one, this one less so, but truthfully, like, so, for example, um, 
we can have someone walk up and hit them with a with a sword, uh, which is good until you're up against something with an extremely high AC or with a lot of health, or who just like hits you back for the same amount of damage. Because we were up against shitters there, right? But like, if 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 we're up against something that does like D8 damage, we take what like two, three hits, like D8 plus four or something. We take like two, three hits. Whereas alternatively, for example, I can be like. You moved 10 feet forward and then stood there last turn. I'd like you to do that for the next two turns, please. Which mean not attack. Also, right, well, that's consider what you, can do. You, do, you, do, you do have access to Pummeling Rubble, which is... I mean, it was awkward in that fight, but if you were to crit that as Tulip crit their attack, that would be 4d4 against four targets, potentially. Yeah. Like, like you aren't without damage sources. It just that that particular combat was unfortunate for you because you had a lot of splash oh. spells and you, there wasn't an opportunity to use your big one. Our damage yeah, is pretty poop at the moment in comparison to the marshals, though. Yes, I we're more gonna, about utility. I'm gonna try to like I look up at spells and see if I can't find something. If I'm like a, a set that I'm familiar, like a comfortable with. Yeah, that's but I'm also fair. thinking about like there's nothing in my backstory that specifically requires me to be a sorcerer and i was thinking possibly looking at like a rogue too because we need a rogue and there's nothing wrong with my character being a rogue um you're not know. you're not enjoying being a caster it's fair enough yeah i'm not sure well uh, it's it's it, the way that they've changed the like the the you you get three actions and then like almost every single spell I can cast is uh, two actions so I can only move and cast whereas like other characters can like hit multiple times per round is it makes it makes martial characters a lot more interesting to play than they were in three point five. Well, in three point five they were entirely uninteresting to play, so I would yeah, call that well, a win personally. Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying like. It 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 definitely makes them more valuable than they were previously. Yeah. Uh, well, you've you've escaped the watery hell of the of the unknown areas <laughs> beneath. Um, mm -hmm. It's probably time to report back to Georg. Mm. So are we are we leaving things there, or are we going? Are we doing more? Um, it, uh... We are at about the three hour mark. We're just past it. Um, we can leave things there. There's a bit of like debrief but we can do that over discord uh or in text uh during the week if we want uh and after that it is up to you to decide where you want to go next and what you want to do cool and i will need to know that with enough time to prep the session <laughs> um well question is he going to uh provide us any uh job hook leads or any is anybody in town going to provide us with job hook leads and like uh the uh, next part of what would be the wrap up um not immediate ones um Georg will need to secure the tower properly and move all of the chops and half bodies out uh and take mm -hmm. some time looking through things there may be something in the near future um, um also i mean we did end up managing to secure that stupid merfolk right i mean we could try to figure out if there's anything mm, to go with the there sounds a little circus no i don't want any harm coming to paul you all are terrible <laughs> um i'd be i'd just i'd say we could follow up on that and try to um tell him to the circus b it's not b it's me he's unconscious <laughs> b has done nothing wrong <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I'm so used to be like, Rev, could you? <laughs> That's part of the course for me. I, I'm just, what I'm basically saying is, like, we don't currently have an objective. We like a... we were going to t uh, probably take a caravan escorting job out of here, I think. Like, or a wagon, I guess. Not yeah, I think that was the intention. Uh, I don't know if we had plans on where we wanted to go after that. Uh, I didn't think we really had an explicit destination in mind, but um, where I guess uh, can we go to the world map again real quick? Yeah, we can go to the world map. Uh, boo. So um, 
the choice you make may be influenced by the debrief stuff that I'll put in the Discord and also by the document that you recovered, which I will also provide at the end of the session. Oh, yeah. yeah. We do have an excuse to leave town, basically, too. Yes. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to. You can stay here and, and do some downtime if you want and wait for Georg to have something for you to do. Uh, because mm -hmm. downtime is a, a specific codified mechanic in Pathfinder 2. Mm -hmm. um, or you can, you can go elsewhere hunting for a lead. Uh, if any of you as individuals have a specific lead that you want to pluck at, then uh, perhaps the rest of the party will be amiable to that. Okay. I mean, so, barring anything else, is it worth going back to our home at some point and seeing what things are like there? Or here and investigating what it's actually like where the thing appeared? That is, uh, from B's perspective at least, that is very far away and she probably doesn't want to go back there right now. Um, if if you suggested going back over there, she would probably have some resistance to that idea at this point. Yeah, it's literally on the other side of the world. If if for nothing, no other reason than like we have to travel the entire region. Yeah, she'll probably frame it as it's it's too far, uh, it's too out of our way, but. Uh... She probably has expressed before, and you may or may not know this in character, is that uh, she doesn't really want to go back there right now, or anytime soon. It would be about two weeks' journey to get to um, the site of the event, and probably a little bit more than that to get to Flaxfeld, if you follow the road. If you cross over the wilderness from the path to the south, it'll be a bit shorter. Just out of curiosity, I know that like, the larger cities got rebuilt and they're back basically back to normal at this mm -hmm. point but did flaxfeld get rebuilt as far as we know um as far as you know it's been left as it was yeah because um, it was basically just our adventuring party parents right like that was yes. the only people in town there wasn't like a community correct um <clears throat> no one has talked to you about the state of it for the entire time that you've been in the state's care and past that and if you haven't been there yourself to see, which I don't believe any of you have, then as far mm -hmm. as you know, uh, it was left alone. Which wouldn't be uncommon for the smaller communities. They will have been um, healed by druids of Quintus. Uh, the land would have been, and then the ruins would have been just left there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anywhere that's known to have an awful lot? Well, is there like a, a big, well-known library in the region? Norhal has a, uh, a university in it. That's where Gale came from. Uh, there was a place mentioned. probably where that. Chris would want to go, because he'd want to get access to whatever information they have. Mm. So if, if people are okay with it, he'd, he'd be happy to take a job heading that direction, but that's probably the place he'd most want to visit. Yeah, short of whatever we see in the debrief, uh, that sounds perfectly reasonable to me out of character and probably in character as well. Like if we take like a caravan job, I'm assuming that people go to Norhau fairly yeah, regularly. Well, the, it's the closest big town, right? Yes, the um, the jobs you took to get to Sternov's Light were from Kometis to Norhau and then Norhau down the coast to Lyndhurst. Sure. Uh, so the, the, the trade on, on the roads that you see here is, is pretty flowing. Um, maybe not a caravan going by every day, but definitely on the regular. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, barring anything from the debriefy stuff, then that's what I might suggest. We take like a caravan escort job towards Norhau. Sure. Cool. Okay. I will uh, I'll get you that stuff. Let me know your thoughts, and um, I will plan for that. Yeah, sorry if I was kind of. If was it okay the whole thing? It's like skipping the just like we yeah, move, we move, we fine. move, etc. It's fine. Yeah, like I, I, I had it planned to do it, um, like completely stepways. If there was, if if it was felt that there was enough tension to do so. Sure. Um, but it, you were mm -hmm. you were keeping ahead of it quite nicely. Like only um, only B went down and Tulip was able to carry them. So. I only wish I could have bonked him a little harder. Yeah. <laughs> no, he bonked you. He bonked mm -hmm. you. He did. For the perfect amount. Yeah. 
Oh, I rolled that. Exactly. Um, it's a good thing you yeah, didn't I... crit, because that was 66. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Oh. Oh, real quick, uh, non-game related. Tom, do you want to do Uno with Sam and I after this? Uh, yeah, I can do. Okay, cool. Yeah, the the only thing, so before the next one, is it okay if I pick up it, whatever stuff? Because I would have started with, like, healers, tools, or whatever it was, um, had I known I needed it. So, given that you are now safe and in a trade town, you can probably just mm. buy it. It's probably sure. fine. If it's if it's level zero equipment that you could have acquired in, in character generation, then it's it's available. It is level zero, yeah. I just didn't know I needed it. Yeah. Um, um I would okay. I would recommend you all have a good look at the actions you can do with your skills and make sure you have the appropriate kits just in case, because there is more than the healer's kit. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I have the material it. component pouch, which is basically what I need for my spells. Mm -hmm. So I might buy a crowbar. <laughs> oh, actually, if, if Ziga does end up becoming a rogue, then I guess Ziga will take care of that. But otherwise, I will buy a crowbar. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at it through, through, the, through the course of this week, and I'll keep Tom up to date. Sure. Mm -hmm. Am I right in thinking that previously, in order to get extra attacks, it was like things that you got at higher levels of being... Uh... Yeah, you got yeah. extra attacks at getting a plus six base attack bonus, which um, was at level six for marshals. Um, and not until like level eight or nine for wow. Rebels. So they have been buffed quite a bit then mm -hmm. by the system. Yeah, it's um, it's it's more limited in that you can only get extra attacks that way and via flurry of blows, and that's kind of almost about it. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, but it it stops that big damage spike that you get uh, because you always have access to it. You can balance for it a bit more easily. Oh no! I meant it just like very much closed the gap between yeah. marshals and casters. Yeah, because they just start out by walking up and going, "I twenty five you." Yeah, which was kind of it's kind of like what? It's it's less like like that's marshal and that's caster, and instead it's more like uh, that. Like there's a there's a much bigger time of... of uh, do the casters really scale that hard? Uh, in, in one to one combat, no. If you have any time to prepare, yes. Contingency casting is ridiculous. Uh, Simulacrum <laughs> is ridiculous. Gaius and Wish are ridiculous. Building your own dimension is ridiculous. Marshals don't get any of that. Building your own dimension. Yeah, it's, it's a thing. So it was a thing. I don't know if it is anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for playing. Okay. Yeah, Cheers, no, thank everybody. you. I hope, I hope you enjoyed the first big set of combats. For yes. sure. Yes. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Apart from Ziga missing literally everything and then nearly dying. Yeah, that was man. I'm was, sorry. I'm, I'm, genu <laughs> I'm genuinely sorry about that, but I don't think there's anything either of us can do about it either. So No no. <laughs> if yeah, you I do come across as too whiny, it's just like holy shit, I can't I, do anything. I, 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 I was it. completely it's, dead weight. <laughs> it's it's frustrating, but it's an artifact of the dice, not of your character or ability as a player, so yeah, it's like, just low um, level D and D, right? Yeah, half of it is just miss, 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 miss. Yeah, like if you do end up looking at more spells for sorcerer, there uh, one of the ones I was going to recommend is actually a save forcing one. So at least you're not the one doing the rolls, which may feel better. Yeah, Maybe that's true. <laughs> but uh, if you end up going to rogue, then you'll probably have plenty of damage if that's what you're missing. If you're wanting well, to do more it damage, was just like I, I just did. Like, I thought. That I was going to be roughly on par as a damage, like because primal, from what I can see, is like primal is like exclusively focused on damage for the most part. Like there's very little of anything else. And the primal, uh, the primal uh, spell list is actually pretty decently diverse. Um, but the like the elementalists, uh, I guess. Uh, bloodline spells are pretty damage focused. Yeah, ele elemental yeah. bloodline is very specifically throwing fire at people kind of maneuvers. And um, to be like that hyper focused on something and to still suck at it—that's mm. that's like, <laughs> like that's not good. Yeah. In general, 
Reaper damage is mostly focused on AoE, not single target. You're not going to beat a marshal, like a dedicated damage marshal, with with spells for single target damage. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll think about it. Uh, I mean, I'm, I my backstory is written to be about my character more than my classes, and mm -hmm. so it's kind of moldable to be pretty much anything I want it to be. That's relatively charismatic. Um, so I mean, I could I can I'm gonna look around and mm -hmm. see what I can do. Yeah. Uh, just just uh, you have a point of comparison. The best spell uh the best cantrips for damage you have access to is uh electric arc or scattering scree electric arc is 30 feet range you can target up to two different creatures for d4 plus spell casting modifier damage oh, which wow. is much better than so much better than acid. 1d4 yeah, plus four plus against four. two things within 30 feet of each other sorry within 30 feet of you strictly yes. that is absurd i mean I yeah it was it would it would be a lot cooler if and I don't know if fish would be okay with this, but like every single elemental spell to just kind of neutralize it so that every elemental spell can be any elemental spell. Um, so like electric art could be some sort of earth uh, acid based equivalent or something like that. Um, that actually has ramifications balance wise. Yeah. Different things take different damage from different energy types. Well, like, sure. not to be yeah, pedantic, I mean, but they straight up. No, do. no, I, I understand that there's like, but is it is that a mechanical? Or is that? I understand that it has mechanical repercussions, but I'm saying like, balance wise, for the spell purpose, is there a mechanical reason why electric is more powerful in this particular situation than any other type of element? Um, I uh, don't know, so my instinct is to say let's not do that because it could really fuck things up, and I vaguely currently trust the balance of the game. Okay. I mean, for for reference, um, the the site I use to get some idea of what I'm doing with making characters and whatnot, uh, I, they they have a, a breakdown of sorcerer bloodlines, uh, for which they consider elemental pretty good, actually. Um, and it, it's not the best, but uh, apparently level zero you get produce flame, which is 1d4 plus mod damage, and if you crit, you give persistent fire damage, which is pretty good, actually. Um, that's considered a really good level zero spell. So I don't know whether you have to like intentionally take that, but that's a granted spell from elemental, according to this. Uh, if, yeah. you, if you pick the elemental uh, fire bloodline, then you get that for free, yeah. <laughs> You get fireball at three as well, which is obviously rather good. And yeah, mm -hmm. apparently uh, they think draconic and angelic are both rather good bloodlines. But yeah, I'm gonna take yeah. a look at everything mm -hmm. and uh, make a decision. Cool. Let me know. Thanks for hanging out with you guys. Yeah. Um, thank you very much uh, for playing along. Yeah. We'll catch you guys yep. later. Bye. Bye. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.